brother, what you thinking? Leave that record spinning, you feel the rhythm going. They call it lonely digging. Legs ain't got time to lay low, your knees bending. So it's time to get up and let go. Gotta come and Hey, mama, how's it going? Can't see your body moving. Don't leave the party dying. They call it lonely digging. Keep booty shaking, you know your head has no right to say no tonight. It's ready, set, go. Baby, can you move around the rhythm so we can get with them? Jump around and get us a rock and roll around. Just a downtown body, body, come on with a super hottie. Let's go real slow, I don't know. Baby, can you move around the rhythm? But you know we're living in the fast lane. Speed up, it ain't no game. Just turn up all the beams when it come up on the scene. Brother, what you thinking? That good old sound is ringing. They don't know what they're missing. They call it lonely digging. Legs ain't got time to lay low. Your knees are bending, so it's time to get up and let go. Hey, brother, nice and steady. Put down your drink, you're ready. It's hot when things get messy. They call it lonely digging. Keep booty shaking, you know your head has no right to say no. Tonight it's ready, set, go. Baby, can you move around the rhythm so we can get with them? Jump around and get us a rock and roll around. Just a downtown body, body, come on with a super hearty. Let's go real slow, I don't know. Baby, can you move around the rhythm? But you know we're living in the fast lane. Speed up, it ain't no game. Just turn up all the beams when it come up on the scene. Baby, can you move around the rhythm so we can get with them? Jump around and get us a rock and roll around. Just a downtown body, body, come on with a super hearty. Let's go real slow, I don't know. Baby, can you move around the rhythm? But you know we're living in the fast lane. Speed up, it ain't no game. Just turn up all the beams when it come up on the scene. Hello everybody! Welcome, welcome, welcome on in! It's me, Dahlia Starbright, the Fallen Star VTuber of V-Starlight, and today we're just gonna watch some YouTube. I was going to do some tier lists, but my brain isn't functioning. <laughs> I'm not functioning enough to have opinions! Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's the story! Let's go! Ooh. Wow, I'm getting good at getting small. I'm getting good at being a small lady. Uh, I'm not getting good at getting the right screen up. Ooh. And I'll capture. Ah, there we go. Pizza time. Hi. We're doing this again. I, I didn't <laughs> She has really so many pizza to, videos. This one I actually am not looking forward to, but for you guys, we're gonna do it. Let's do it. Hey friends, it's Akidaris, and every so now and then on this channel, I find a weird pizza from Domino's, Japan. This wasn't really planned to be a series, God damn it, Japan. but I have apparently now an entire series of pizzas that I've tried in Japan. Then the reason is, if you're new to this channel, is because Domino's Japan Pizza, on this channel at least, is known for two things. One, it's really expensive. And it's really it's weird. Two, they always go from like zero to a hundred when it comes to this. It's place. weird. Whatever they come out with, whenever it's like a special, it's like the most bizarre left field theme ever. So for example, we've had the Tsundere Pizza, we've had the Boba Pizza, we had the Fish and Chips Pizza, all of that will be linked down below. But today, I'm going to be trying the newest pizza from Domino's Japan, the Pickle Pizza. The Pickle the Pizza! Pickle I hate, and I mean like hate, pickles. I like There's pickle. very few foods in this world that I don't like. I have like the widest palate ever, but pickles is the one thing that I just do not like. And that's exactly why I'm going to eat it today. Okay, so I'm on the website Is right this now, literally just order, cucumber in a it's jar of vinegar? It says pickles pizza. Uh, the ingredients are pickles, 
Uh, and pizza. Cheese. Pickles and pizza. And that's it. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's literally all that they have. And then here's like a full What about the sauce? It's literally like a whole jar of pickles that's just been What about the sauce? What about it's tomato? Like the cinder pizza where they just put on like a whole jar of jalapenos on top. Oh, that's Literally cool. The same concept. I like jalapenos. Just put a whole jar of pickles on here. This is really great if you like pickles. So I'm going to be getting it. Oh, look at that price! Isn't that beautiful? Four thousand nine hundred and ninety yen for one uh, pizza. What do you think about that? It's expensive. It's yeah. Ridiculous. Right? It's too much. The one helping me today is from Malaysia. How much is a pizza in Malaysia? Oh, pretty expensive. Really? But for that? Uh, this. It's really expensive for pizza. It, it's not that expensive in Malaysia. Right. It's a lot cheaper. Yeah. Than that, yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, I think like in America, you could get this for like maybe 10, 12 bucks at most. So uh, let's see. Oh yeah. Let's see how many calories this is. It Too many. For one pizza slice, it's 257 calories. It's actually not as bad as I thought it would be. But then again, it is- It is just like pickle. Vegetables on top. So <laughs> it's let's just pickle and cheese. Three. New address. Oh shit, I have to type this in. Hold on. Intermission. Okay, uh, I've just logged in and okay, I have to find this again. Yeah, here we go. New York size pickle pizza, hand toss. Let's add it for 5,000 yen because 5, why, why did, who made these price points? Like even if the ingredients were imported, it really shouldn't It's not 50 buck. that much. 50 you know buck. I mean? um, that, that's just ridiculous. No. Okay, well I've just added it. Um, yeah, pickle pizza, 50 buck. pickles, camembert cheese sauce, New Yorker size, hand toss. It's sauceless. Does it now how have to be New Yorker? Sauce? Yeah, it's sauceless. Okay, you know what? Let me look at the advertisement for this. Because I need to see. Pickle pizza, Japan. Okay, let's look at the news here. Domino's Japan pushes pickle love to limit with new pickles pizza. Pizza delivery chains in Japan aren't afraid of thinking outside the box the when it comes to what they put on top of their pizzas. And Domino's Japan is no exception. Corn, mayonnaise, fish and chips, those have all been on pies Domino's has delivered in Japan. But now the chain is pushing pizza, pioneering an especially bold direction with its new pickle pizza. The selling point is, quote, we won't let anyone call pickles a garnish ever again. Oh From no. Now, pickles <laughs> are a main dish. I don't know if that happened. Just eat a jar of pickles. I think they really tried, but it just it just looks like there's something wrong. Okay, tell me what looks more appetizing. Pickles pizza or kiwi pizza? <coughs> pickles. I think they're both equally bad. Yeah. Pickles. Right? Pickles looks, looks better. Painful. I swear to God, if Domino Japan ever comes out with this, don't true. give them ideas. But, you know, I appreciate that Japan is super experimental with different flavors because I feel like in the U.S. they there is like almost no room to try super new things like this. They kind of always stay in like the realm of what they know will sell. This one, I don't know how many people are buying this, but I have a feeling that since I'm ordering this from the same location that I've ordered all my pizzas at. They're gonna see that name, they're gonna see that address being like making another video, isn't she? Alright, I'm gonna add a couple things to this one. She's a regular here. Check out and then I'll see you guys in a bit. <laughs> Five items for 10,220 yen. Let's fucking go! Oh, that's like a hundred dollar? Yeah. Estimated delivery time? Too long. No idea. <laughs> He said, yeah, the pickles pizza is popular. <laughs> <laughs> I can smell only pickles. I'm holding like two big pizzas. No, actually, two big pizzas, one small pizza, and two sides, and all I can smell is pickles. Okay, well, all right. The heck? You know what? The guy was so nice. Let me just like rate him really quickly right now. How was your meal? No, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put a little smile because we got other things. How was the presentation and conduct of the Domino's team members? Outstanding. He was really nice. He answered my question. How was the quality of the delivery service? Uh, it, it was. Yeah, we, we, uh, yeah, I would put that. Yeah. Based on your experience, how likely would you be recommending Domino's? I don't need to answer everything, right? Okay, cool. No. <laughs> Sorry. If you change the prices, maybe I'll give you a little higher score. But at least the guy. Really <laughs> God nice. damn. Okay, so this 
stuff, so let's go. Yeah, we ain't spending a hundred buckaroos on pizza. All right, New Yorkers pickle pizza, here we go. God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's like, yeah, I mean, even if you like pickles, that's like too much. Oh no, I'd eat that. Right? I would it's enjoy bad. that. Well, you want to you wanna do some B-roll? Yeah, I want to do some B-roll. Yeah, you guys want a closer look at this? Check that shit out. It's just hanging off. It's dangling. <laughs> <laughs> Ugly okay. ass pizza. You have to see this. What the yeah. fuck is that? Yeah. Is that? It's, it's so bad. It's pizza. It's mayo and pickles? No, it's cam it says it's like camembert cheese. It looks like someone just jizzed all over it. You want to try it? <laughs> Just one size. I think I'd still eat it. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I'll, I'll go first and then you can take a bite. Sure. Okay, cool. Alright. Why is it so big? Could you, could you not have gotten this? They literally size? don't have anything other than the New York style pizza. <sighs> okay, go for it. I hate pickles. You know this. I love pickles and I still am not okay with this. Right? Okay. I'm okay with it. I'm down. I don't like camembert. Okay. I'm... The juice is. Yeah, that's the best Every part. Every bite. That's the best part, bro. Every bite. I can smell it from here, bro. There's like more juice on top of juice. <laughs> it's so sour. I'm more, it hurts. I'm, I'm more worried about like the vinegar contents in this. It, it hurts like right here. It's spicy. Mmm. That looks good. That looked like a good bite. Like, you know, I like pickles, but pickles are supposed to be used as a garnish. Okay, that's too many that's pickles exactly in a burger. What the, God uh, damn. The Times article was saying, yeah. it was like, oh, this pizza is meant to show that pickles don't have to just be a garnish, but they can also be a main. No, no it can't! Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. being like, hey guys. I really want to make a pizza, but it's just coleslaw. Um, I would eat yeah, that. That might <laughs> honestly be one of the worst pizzas. I've I would eat the coleslaw so pizza. Much. You've made me eat a shitload of terrible pizza. I hate this. Why does it have to be a New York style pizza? Yeah, why is it so? If it was this size, that would have been fine. That would have been fine. They came in this size with everything else. Who asked for this? this is, guess how Who much? Who asked? Yeah, guess, guess, guess how much this was. Four thousand yen. Five. 5,000 yen? It would have been cheaper just to make our own pickles. Yeah. Make our own pickles? Yeah. Make our own pickles? Yeah. You mean put... Make our own pickles. From... Like, from scratch. Oh. Can I just... Yeah. Pizza and go? Uh, later. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Beep. You, yeah. can, you can eat later when I'm done recording. Alright. This is actually, <laughs> like, out of all the pizzas that I've eaten on this channel, this is the worst. This is actually the worst. Every bite... But it looks oh, good. It just like fills your mouth with more and more pickle juice. And then like it hurts right here. And I don't taste anything else but pickles. Like they have cheese, as you can see right here. I mean, I feel but like that's, a, that's an Aki problem. 5,000 yen. How many slices is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. Well, it's yeah, like, pizzas are usually eight slices. It's like... How much is that per slice? <laughs> 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 Everyone in this room right now can like actually like smell it. Like it's not even funny. Each slice is six twenty-five. What a waste of like pickles. And that's coming from someone that doesn't even like pickles. And you could do this. Why did you do this? This does not take a lot to make. If you already know how to make a pizza, just dump a shit ton of pickles on top. Even though it has camembert cheese, even if you don't have it, it doesn't matter. You can put any time I don't, you want. It I don't like cheese. camembert. The taste of the pickles is literally overpowering the taste of anything else. Good. This sucks. I'm sorry. If the pickle overpowers the camembert, then I'm good with it. I can't. I can't do this one. It's not the most terrible thing I've ever had in my life. It's just, I just don't like pickles. And this is like a nightmare for me. Maybe if you really like pickles, you might be able to- I like pickles. Joey seemed to tolerate it okay, but not me. No ma'am. I'm good. All right, guys. Um, I'm going to have some actual regular pizza and I will enjoy the rest of my night. That stuff 
we're gonna try our best to finish this. I don't think we're gonna be able to. So I'm just being honest. The a lot of this is probably gonna go to the trash. Anyways. Yeah, I don't think even the homeless people would want that. You guys think, um, I'll have it. Make money from crane games. Let's go. I am obsessed with crane games, and I've wasted so much money on them. But this time, I want to see if I can make money playing crane games. So I grabbed five hundred dollars and a pro to come join me, and I'm gonna try and win <laughs> as many prizes as I can. And then after that, I bet she's a regular a here. Buy the figures from you, and I think we can probably make a little bit of side money. So let's get right into it. So do you have a strategy on how you're gonna make some money today? Well, the first floor, I see a lot of pastures I like. Okay. However, this is about making money, yeah. and I think figuring in boxes might they sell do. more. So mm -hmm, I think mm -hmm. I'm gonna try not to look at all the plushies I wanna get. Yeah, plushies okay. often go for Just like got the plushies. 3, yen to 3,000 yen tops. Yeah. However, figures can sometimes go for yeah. 4,000 to 5,000 yen, depending on the figure. So, I mean, we'll see, we'll see. Find something uh, really obscure. First, gonna see what there is available, and then hopefully we can find some stuff to make some money. Yeah, why not? All right, let's go inside. Let's go. And starting off, I was pretty confident in my strategy. I'm pretty sure the strategy today is gonna be getting figures. But it depends how many figures there are and if they're popular. You know, like cheap Dragon Ball figures don't go for a crazy amount. Maybe Pokemon plushies go for a, a high amount. Oh, or the Spy Family over there, maybe that goes for more. I've only had one double espresso today. So if I'm not myself, you know why. That's not nearly enough. I need like at least three, <laughs> at least four, five. Fast. Money, All money, money. So you don't even want them, which implies that you know, they only have a limited stock and that maybe you shouldn't be buying them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to Google this figure and see how much it's going for. It's going for 25 bucks USD retail. That's on English sites though. Probably less in Japan, right? We can probably assume it's probably going to go for like 20 bucks. And so with my estimated value of $20, I needed to make sure I got this in under 20 mm. turns. Easy. This one's laid out better. I I'm doing like micro things now that I wouldn't yeah. give a f Oh no, he's micromanaging his crane centered. games. This one's a little more towards us, which is what we want. It's not really going to make a difference, but it might. So let's just go for it. It was time to hear Kaho's strategy. Oh wow, I like the sound of money so much. Especially when it's not my money. Yep. <laughs> Do you like Good cats? strategy. Well, good, because this video oh. is sponsored by uh. Battle Cats. Uh. I thought you'd be logging uh. in that uh. very uh. that's going to spend uh. that. Because the uh. now download it. Okay, so I'm not going to go No today. ads. No ads. <laughs> snack, snack, we can't sell. Okay, I got, I, I actually got the Sable one the other day. Now they got the bug, okay, huh. It's time, Kaho. Yeah, let's, let's, let's do that. My worry is that I could f this up right away. Oh, Just go so for bad. it. That's not a good omen for the day. I f up completely. Okay. Just go for it. No! It twisted! Okay, okay. Two dollars and I've done nothing! Oh, no, go for the middle oh, first, God, just God, to God. see how much Don't it weighs. Don't do that twisty thing. Don't do that twisty thing. What is that? What is happening? Okay, new plan. Um, <laughs> I gotta get good. Real quick. And it was not starting good for me. Go for the middle of the box. Down, see how much it weighs. 20 or 30 degrees. So, more often than not, you kind of have to factor that in. That and go. Whilst I was going for figures, Cow decided to go for a uh, slime. I don't really go with them a scene like this. I don't know how. Yeah, go for something obscure. Like so that would be my strategy. Off. The arm is not that strong. Again, they, they got. See, she's the got it right. She's testing the arm I first. We have to rotate. Come on. Ooh. So you're, you're in a bit of a pickle here, so how much do you want to spend on this before going to the figurines? Maybe two, 20? 20 bucks? Yeah. I mean, 2,000 yen? Uh, oh, okay, that's good, that's good. She that's can good. do that's it. Good. Oh, that's good, that's good. She's okay, a talented crane, crane gamer. <laughs> oh, oh, damn, we got the, the bar, the bar! Yeah, 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 oh, you got oh. it. Not too bad. So many people I'm assuming like maybe I'm that crane game YouTuber. I'm not. <laughs> you got your pleasure system. My moves, but... Okay, that's it's okay. It's moving, it's moving. It's moving. Yeah, it's moving right it's though. Going it's rotating good, it. It's going good. Meanwhile, I was she not done having good. a good time. 
Oh, I have no, no idea I'm what he's doing. How did I do that? How do, how do you even do that? How do you do that? This is the longest okay. thing known to man. I, I don't. I, no, you can get it from there. Throw to the needle. Throw to the needle. Oh no! 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 no. What the hell are you oh, doing, that's sir? Bad. Oh, that's really bad. Problem is now is that I've wedged it, yeah, that's... and so I need to get it out, which I might be able to do if I don't get it. In Go for the front corner. Sandwich would put me. This is the tenth try, so we're gonna try and get it out this way. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. We're no, go for the front way. corner. Hope oh my god. There we go. That's perfect. Oh, it's so close. Oh. I, I might be able to do it. <sighs> oh, it's so close. He's using the bad While strat. I was busy losing the rest of my hair, Kaho had noticed something interesting. No, by the way, if you read the QR code, you can do the Kasumima sensing. What, is that in like an app? Yeah, that's in the app. It just comes down out and then uh, stuff sounds gonna come and help you. What if the like, if the thing got stuck or you want like a different item? Uh, sometimes you put like, too much money, but you cannot really move here, so... You want the money to be moved to like a different location. Whoa, 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 whoa. It just, it grabbed the thing. Oh Damn. my god. I wanted to take it itself. Come on, 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 come on. It's a stronger than we thought. Yeah. Oh, oh, just a little bit more. Yes. Okay. Oh, you're using Japanese. We have to wait. So what is it showing you here? There are like three people waiting. I think they're helping three other people. I think I can do it. Twelve dollar. Trying to get this side. Yes, yes, come on, come on, come on. Nah. Oh, oh, oh he did it. Nice. Five bucks. Solid start. I think this will be around that. So far, dude, I'm stressed out, man. I think that's, I, that's a break even, at least. This is 100% a break even. And as you can see, I wasted no time huffing copium today. But it seems <laughs> that I wasn't the only one who was getting lucky. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's coming, it's coming. Yes. First try. <laughs> Now, Mega Min figures are plenty. I'm gonna go for it because I think we can get an okay price for it, but I, I really don't think I it's don't think so. Bucks. I might have been a little too generous with that. I want to get this as close to here as possible. But this should still be. This is gonna don't be go for the popular stuff. Go for something right. super yeah. obscure okay, that you've it. never that seen before. Good. We're gonna move this side again, just like that. If you want to make money, a heck of an amount. Isn't that don't crazy? go how, for how popular things. <laughs> turns. All the claws are doing it. Okay, oh. That's a great start. Yeah, that's a, that's good a great start. That's yeah. a great start. Oh, okay, this might be bad. This might be good. We'll find out. Um <laughs> It was bad. It, it, it turned out to be very bad. Um This is bad. I kinda wanna play Let's crane Let's games. Nah, we're not doing that tonight. <laughs> that is bad! That is bad. Maybe next week. It was indeed very bad. What did you get? What did you get, Connor? I got a, I got a uh, crawler. Is it Hunter Hunter figuring? Yeah, yeah, I got the Hunter Hunter. Oh, I see. Oh. I'm trying this one, but I've spent like 15 bucks and it is not happening. <laughs> so I'm going to wait for someone. Uh -huh. Assume I'm mean, saying. You can like no also step. call somebody from here on the phone. Oh. Use the app. Oh, I should have done that. Nice, Please right. wait for a while. <laughs> and although I'm very grateful, I think it was dangerous that Kaho told me that I could sue Masen via an app. Because I'm going to abuse the hell out of it. But in the meantime, Kaho had found her next figure. I want to get some waifus. Oh my gosh, like, that's like mm. obvious. Okay. <laughs> oh, bars, bars. Damn, bars. <laughs> Damn, bars. Nice first try. Let me try this side. Okay, okay, no bars, no bars, just I want it to be kind of vertical. Oh, wait, just roll down. I don't know if it's a good No, I'll be good, I'll be good. Come on, come on, come It'll on. be fine. No, that's that didn't move at all. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> come on, push it, nudge it, nudge. Come on, come on. This is good, it's good. Whoa, okay, okay. It's good, it's good, it's good. It's good. But Kaho was making great progress. I think when you yeah, she's it, good at these. Into a diagonal. You think? Well, that's just oh, gonna wait, poke it right oh, there. Just poke it. Oh, oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, maybe not. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, yes, yes. No, she's good at these. Oh, she's she doing well. She's doing okay. well. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Just like get the edge. What? No, whoa, wait. You go for the back corner. Down? Is it going down? Meanwhile, I was testing to make sure this Suma Sen app actually worked. Of course, I don't need help. I just wanted to make sure the app worked for future reference. She seems nice. Hey, it seemed helpful. I'll we'll say that much. We'll give her the benefit of the doubt. I'm just a little skeptical. I would have liked a little something, 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 you know? Huh? Wait, why did I do that? Actually, that wasn't bad. That was really good. 
If I can do that one more time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you can do it the furthest back you can mm -hmm. get it. I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it. No, are you kidding me? So right here, I was trying to pull up the back to get it to go down the middle. Push uh, but then I had a big brain down revelation. The front. What if we throw it over the back? $20 move right there. <laughs> Oh, oh! Oh! We could have done that the whole time. I'm so dumb. There was nothing saying I couldn't flip it that way. I'm an idiot of a, a large magnitude. Look at it this way, you've just invested in knowledge. <laughs> and now, <laughs> that's what I tell myself. Now you have the trick. That's what I tell what myself. What an investment. <laughs> and now that I'd got my Megamina, I'd like to explain to you where the value of anime figures comes from. Because if you live in Japan, the value of these anime figures varies wildly. The figures that you typically win in Crane Game Centers are considered to be the cheapest. They often don't yep. ever go beyond the price point of $30, $40 in Japan. Obviously, if I went to America, I could probably sell these for way more. But in Japan, that's roughly how oh, much that's they're a worth concept. maximum. On average, a lot of the anime figures will only cost around $10 to $20. And the value can come from many things. Is that character a very popular character? Well, that'll increase the price. Does that character have too many anime figures? Well, that'll decrease the price. Is that figure from an anime that Where isn't very popular? Pop well, it could increase or decrease the price. Is that character from a Aww. popular show, but it's not a popular character? Well, it, uh, yeah. Well that, well, that depends as well. Uh, you're, you're starting to see the problem here. Is that it's very, very <laughs> hard to determine when an anime figure is worth more if money or less money. If it's a cute basket, don't later, get it. All the stores <laughs> already know the value. But you're probably thinking, well, Connor, what about plushies? But the sad thing is, is that plushies don't really no. cost more than $10 a lot of the time. So the resale value is basically zero. Anyway, oh, worthless cinema winning. roll. So we done something today. This one is too tiny. Even if we can sell, it's gonna be just 300 yen or something like that. So we're gonna go big. Now this machine right here, you might recognize if you've watched many of my videos before. It's very simple. Get oh, the hand no, in not the, the hand. Holes and line it up perfectly. If it's even a millimeter off, you don't win. When you first play this machine, it's very tricky, but not too bad when you get the hang of it. And it seems like in this crane game center, a lot of the leftover figures got put in these boxes. I'm gonna go for the top two because those look way better. Now the one thing I do hate about this machine so much is that it takes forever to reset. So let's do it. Oh, it's so bad. I'm so bad. Another thing about this machine is you can't preload. You have to wait until it's actually done to put your coin in. Very annoying. Oh, I'm so bad. And as you can see, I was definitely a little bit rusty. Yes. Oh no, I'm so bad. What am I doing? Okay, this is mine. Okay, now I'm just trolling. I, I, see, if I had my triple espresso, this would be no issue. Okay, lining up that one's easy. Oh, oh that's good, that's good. Mm. Nah. It didn't take too long to get back in the swing oh. of things. Yeah, it was about 10. <laughs> yeah, that's good. So right now, I've spent $46, three figures. Pretty good so far. I think you can get the ram as well, man. I think we can get the ram as well. Oh, I might have uh, I will find out. I kind of panicked and I was looking at the bottom. Two tries left until our $50 is done. If we can get four figures and 50 bucks, that's, that's very, very good. I don't think it's gonna happen. Oh, it's good. It's good. It's good. That's not good. Is That's it? Is that good? Oh, that is good. I am insane. Whoops. So far, I'd spend 5,000 yen and my dad's perception is bad. So pretty good. <laughs> and I had a genius idea. I'm just thinking, let's just let's clean this out. I think you're alright. Just about. Hello. Yeah, that's, that's good. Oh, I'll just get this thing. Bro. Bro. <laughs> Come on. Okay. All right, hold up. I'm popping off, Mom. Hold up. All right, clean it out. Let's keep it going. Let's keep the good times rolling. Oh, me. I, I do think that this is like their bargain bin, dare I say. Like, of where they get all the prizes <laughs> they don't necessarily want. But I'll take it. I'm not above it. All right, nice. <laughs> is that three or two? Ah, uh, three turns. Let's keep it going. Let's clean out the whole machine. Whilst I was busy clearing up their leftovers, Kaho had found a very popular figure. Ooh. Ah, the bar! The That's bar! So the arm is just hitting the bar, and the arm is in the way, so we cannot really go deeper and grab it. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, you got it. You got it, woman. Okay. You got it, talking. lady. Now we're talking. Come on, come on. Whoa, 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 whoa,
and well, then I have to. It's the same height as the left one. Oh no, it's not. It's a little, not. It's a little, a little higher. Yeah. Oh, I drifted anyway. Oh, that was a wide drift. Oh, I did it again. Maybe it's intentionally drifted. I'd, I'd imagine so. <laughs> it's rigged. Oh, that's good, that's good, that's good. And after eight more dollars, I'd got another figure. All right, next rigged. One, final one. Line the hand up with the top one, and then we go for it. Hopefully we get it in one, and then we can be done with this machine. <laughs> She could have unstuck that herself. <laughs> Wait a just flip it. <laughs> just flip. Meanwhile, Kaho was getting carried into oblivion. Alright. There we go. There we go. That's it, man. Six to six, baby. When will he miss? <laughs> Says the man who missed. Machine. Pure devastation. We're cooking, dude. We're cooking. Come on, come on. Come on, do it. Come on, come on. Oh! Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> and it seemed Got that him. we just couldn't stop winning. Dude, I'm cooking. I just cleaned out a whole machine. Damn! Chef is in the kitchen. Up. Yeah, it's like 40 bucks. I got like six figures. Damn, that's amazing. Why is there so much RAM? Why is there two RAM fit? Where's the RAM? <laughs> what the f is this? All right, Hatsune Miku. There we go. That's got to be a solid bet, right? I mean, mm. international pop star. And after seeing the success I had, Kao decided it was her turn to start winning in mass. Oh, wait. Damn, 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 damn. Uh, no, it drifted. Oh, on the right side, yeah. oh, damn. This is quite hard. How could he get a lot of things? Damn. I'm going to try something a little crazy. Let's see if this works. This is just crazy enough that it could work. It was crazy enough that nothing happened. <laughs> My main concern right now is that this, this claw doesn't come forward very much. So I'm kind of not working with a lot here. Uh, I'm going to do like this. I'm going to just tap it like that. This is going to rotate. It does the little rotate as well, as you can see. So this is perfect now. It's going to drag it that way that you it want. We want perfect. it as far back as possible. Um, that's not bad. I mean, that's decent. Oh. I was so confused. It refilled. She's on to your taxi, mate. She's on to you. <laughs> <laughs> no, why are you going for mine? Yeah, but she's bad at it. So I just dropped my yeah. 100 yen down here. I'm so excited. Maybe I should start with the bottom, maybe? The most intense music playing in the music. Yeah. <laughs> now, the right, we got the right height, though. Is there a delay? Yeah, I think you can get it. I think you can get it. I believe in you, Cole. Thank you. You can do it. <laughs> I don't believe in you, Cole. <laughs> it's too high. It's going to be too high, I think. Oh, no, no, no. You can do this. No. Nope. Uh, no. Oh, no. Too far right again. Damn, it's hard. Damn. I feel like there should be in a game like this, otherwise it'd be too easy. Oh, no. Whoa, it's too far. Don't. <laughs> Don't. Ooh. I'm nasty with it today. Chef wow. is in the kitchen. Yeah, now that I know that I got a cook, I turned up. <laughs> okay. Okay, hold up. <laughs> hold up. Okay, that's, no, that's, that's decent. That's decent. It went in the right direction. It's going to go the wrong way. So that did nothing. When I said I was cooking, I lied. It's right. It's he meant roast. he left the gas on. Yeah. <laughs> you're right, you're right. Slow cooker. It might work. I don't know if he's got a force. Oh, that's good, though. That's good. Mm. Is that good? Oh, that was what I was worried about. <laughs> uh, okay, so she said to what turn the heck it this she way. Done? So claw goes this side. The heck I she done? Her, but I don't know if I should. Well, she's the pro, man. She knows what I she's doing. I don't know, though. Nah, nah she, she just works spot. here. You can tell. Oh, this is it. Okay, she hooked me up. All right, she hooked me up. And after getting my Hatsune Miku with zero help that I definitely didn't get, I thought I would maybe help Kaho out with the hand game. All right, Kaho, are you cooking or what? Do you need help? Can you? Like, I'm trying to get the gist of it. I can get the height, but I cannot get the you? width. Yes. Mm. Okay. Let's see if we can get it. Oh, it drifted. Damn it. Oh, I it. Maybe I should have stayed in my lane. And right after I was done speedrunning, embarrassing myself, Kaho did it anyway. Yay! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! I thought it She just did what he did, but right. So this is Kimitsune with character. She's gonna do a lot in this new arc, so let's go. I did the cat. I'll cosplay too. 
Oh. Oh, it was too much. The speed was quite fast as well, I thought, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh. It's rigged. Right. It's rigged. It's changing speed each time. Yeah, yeah the speed is different. <laughs> Looks good. Fine. All right. Hey! I set it up for I set, I set it I, I got rid of the I got rid of the bad one. I I set it up. I set it up. It's you know, it's all me. <laughs> it's crazy how it happens. It's a nice figurine. And Ram yeah. is such a popular character, so I guess it's is she? Well, but, damn, this movie and I hate it. I have not watched Eminence of Shadow. I do not give a, a damn, but it's a new show. <laughs> so I'm hoping that means that the prize. Oh, will judging go for by the model. A nice amount. I'm gonna That's a show I would like. This thing up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> No, you have to be kidding me! There was all that room! Shh. Am I gonna hit the pole again? God damn yep. it, I hate it when it does that. I think I was prone for a, a, a backflip, man. <laughs> the problem is I gotta get it. This is super risky, but I'm gonna go for it. Oh, this is so dumb. Ah, uh, this is not gonna work. Why did I do that? <laughs> back to the start. And I was going in circles. Meanwhile, Kaho had eyed up a Sailor Moon 2 Posket figure. What's the mm -hmm. strategy here, Kaho? I guess you have to move it. Another bar game, right? I'm not really into the bar game, but I guess we gotta do what we gotta do. It's better than the hand machine. I hated that. Oh, whoa, whoa, okay. Either the arm is so strong or it's quite night figuring, yeah. I don't think it's a good oh, figurine. Yeah. Whoa, 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 okay. <laughs> and after failing a few times, I'd see my send. And the kind lady had set it up very nicely for me, and I mess it up. So much so, she felt Boys very go nice from the me back. and reset it again. Turn, 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 turn. No. Okay, this might work, it might work. Yes. Okay, got it. Yeah, Thanks when they the set it up for you, they set it up for you to go really from the back. I feel like this one staff member really wanted us to win because she was helping me and Kaho so much. She explained things very sorry so that we can actually learn. She doesn't just help, but she just teaches us. Okay, now we got some. Oh, now, what do we do now? <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, get the edge, get the edge. Ah. Oh my <laughs> god, what are they doing? Why? Pushing it, push it, push it in, push it Yay. in. Yes. All right. <laughs> <laughs> After that, I'd found a Demon Slayer figure of a character I thought was quite rare. And I thought it would be easy to get. Okay, that's fine. We got at least the one claw here. I ain't never seen no Demon okay, Slayer. Well, now, what intonation just happened? <laughs> Oh, and it was looking like it was. I need to pull it out, which I think I can do. I might have done that a little. Yeah, lucky. just whip it out. Oh, no, that's not, that's not bad. That might be it. Oh, oh no, I just made it worse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold oh, up. Hold you up, got hold this. Up, you up. got this. Let's go do that again. All right, here we go. We're cooking. Oh, it's so good. Now do it from the back. You Fool, you fool. Okay, that's good. Do it from the back. Okay, okay. I'm just being edged. You've got it in right, a okay. position where you can and get it from what the I back. Did, it just didn't seem to fall in. So I did what any sane man would. See what I say. That's it, nice. You only want to grab it on that one side. Oh, mate. That's because this one hit the end. Yeah. No, I'm back to where I was. But it seemed like it just didn't help at all. So I gave up. And soon I send one more time. That's gonna hit it. Turning. Yeah, just come back. Again. And I finally got it. I sure hope this thing is worth a lot of money. Oh my goodness. That was a big... Oh, that was a big haul. But Kaha was facing a little bit of difficulty getting a really awful figure that I'm sure is worth nothing. All three. Oh, I don't want to crash the box. Ah, no, it's not going anywhere. Oh my god. Ah, it's so slippery. It's not doing anything. <laughs> it's not slippery enough for the bars, though. <laughs> and it looked like Kaho was about to give up. Why did it have to do? Oh, 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 yeah. Somehow it worked. I was just like feeling so devastated, but. I'm feeling better now. You use the horse. <laughs> oh, the horse. You use the horse. I'm still such a paddle one. Oh yeah, the little bit scratch that I made. Oh, 
free, I guess. That'll take and some money the off. the amount of prizes we had already on this amount of money, I think we were doing pretty damn good. And luckily for me, they restocked the hand. <laughs> oh my which god. I was paying out the most. Got it. Yes, there we go. You got it? You got it? Yeah, got it? Got it? Yeah. There we go. There we go. Is that good? That's yeah. good. There we go. Nice. All right. A little, little whatever the hell that is. I don't, I don't, I don't particularly know what this is. <laughs> I don't particularly <laughs> care. Box is sure crashed. A lot. I hope Kaho is winning some really good quality figure. Why? I'm not a ram. Get a ram. Like People like bunny girls. girls. Oh, oh no, he just stabbed. He just stabbed the box. Damn. I think that's actually a valid point we haven't thought about is stabbing the box with the machine and <laughs> depreciation of value as a result. Okay. Okay, okay. Just move it a little She bit knows more. the value of the bunny. The Just a little bit. Mm. I don't know how much we can move from here. So it become more horizontal. Okay, okay, okay. That's not bad. That's not bad. Okay. And unfortunately for me, it looked like Kaha was going to win a ram. Oh, God. Oh, what the? Okay, okay. <laughs> hmm. 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 <laughs> Let me do this I can do this. Maybe. I know. I haven't moved that much. Well, yeah, it's not really moved much at all, is it, really? No. This is a nice thing, right? I really want it. That's not about what you want. It's, what, oh. it's about what you're selling. Oh. We keep saving the box. I hope it's not going to be. I think it's already got a dent on it, because there is a dent on it already. Oh, yeah. oh wait, it's back on again! What's going on? Maybe I should just focus on lifting it up from the bottom? From the back, maybe? Ah, the bar! The bar, oh wait! Oh, it didn't work! Oh, oh wow! Oh. <laughs> and unfortunately, Kaho won. And I was running low on money, so I wanted to try and win some last minute figures. That was ass. That was just, I'm trolling. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. Well, I'll do a little bit of trolling. Oh, perfect, perfect, perfect. What the? They didn't move at all. So at that rate, it would take one, two, like another three, ten at least. Ten. And even though I knew it was a waste of money, I, for some reason, decided to keep going. And right next to me, Kaho was trying to get a Tokyo Revengers figure. It's Dorokin, he's a a cute Posca, seriously? So I guess, okay, not too shabby. Um, <laughs> I think there's a slight gap between the bar and the back. We can still probably push it on this way, probably. Ah, uh, yes, uh, no. <laughs> oh, I moved a lot more this time. However, it seemed that I was amazing at moving this box precisely 0 0.001 inches <laughs> at a time. So I'm quite good at this, you could say. All right, we might be in business here, gentlemen. Hmm. Conan Echo Gower, get in here, bro. It's gonna take another ten just to start. No, it. I think I think it'll be. I think we can do it in the last. Oh, I, yeah. Well, if I because I'm f***ing up, but I'm I'm pushing too much. Okay, actually, we can get, we could actually go for a stab, but it's super risky. That's a bit, that's a bit early for a stab. Okay, we're stabbing now. We're stabbing okay. now. We're stab now. <laughs> no, maybe I can do it on this one edge here. Oh, that was bad. What am I doing? Oh my god. Oh, okay, got it. And right when I won, Kaho also won. Uh, oh yes! Nice, it worked! Oh my god! Nice, congrats! I thought I was gonna be able to do it. Yay! And although I knew it was a bad idea, I still really wanted to see if we could get any money with the plushies. So the oh my god, plush. no, don't okay. do it. I think there's a chance. It's a very popular show currently. I don't see why we can't pop off here. But the problem is it's a plush and it's very unreliable with how it is to get these. So let's just try. And money. What on earth are these things it's stuck on? That's these. We don't hate that. These nuts. Might work. <laughs> what, the the last time. <laughs> what the hell is he doing? Is he drunk? No, no, no. That's not the way I want you to fall. Okay, I'm hoping I can pull him this way. Come on, come on. 
<laughs> what is oh my it? god. And this is the problem with the traditional claw machines where it's just picking them up. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, but it's gonna let go. But actually, it let it go in a pretty good spot. Yeah, yeah. It's showing some promise. Oh, you got in between the legs? Yeah, that's what I was going nice. for. Oh, nice. Oh. <laughs> no, it's gonna let go. But, oh. <laughs> and it was at this point. It's so bouncy. Losing my mind. It's so bouncy. I'm gonna lose my mind. <laughs> just tickled him. <laughs> Giving up on me. I just, just gave him a little tickle. And right after I'd already spent twenty dollars on it, I had learned some crucial information. Oh my god, you can stop it. <laughs> you can double tap it. I want your to go. So free, it's not gonna stop. Okay, yeah, go for that one. That looks like one that would be expensive. Maybe. Oh. <laughs> Maybe uncommon. Oh, wait, it's got stuck. We got it too high. I guess it, it makes sense. Oh. It makes sense. Oh wait, there. Yeah, okay. 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 I guess. <laughs> you can I hear Connor can hear in the background. It just if you're agitated, like oh well, just pick it out. What just happened? Damn. It's so oh, bouncy. Oh, Go, Why is he doing oh, plushies? That hurt, that hurt, dude. I genuinely thought we had it. You can get his head over first, I think, maybe. That's nice, that's nice. Oh, oh there's a string. Let's go for the string. I no, don't in my go videos, for the but string. It's debate to go for the string, because it often just doesn't work. And yeah, I don't actually think we can. We can try. It's not bad. Oh, nice. Problem is, is that it probably won't... Yeah, yeah slide off. Not... Slippy like string. The metal thing, don't they? Like, because it's, it's, yeah, it's a bit it's, old and janky. It's a bit worse for wear. And honestly, I should have listened to my earlier self of just staying away from the plushies, as it seemed I wasn't going to get any of them. But luckily for You're me, I was get any money. wise decisions. I have no idea what show this girl is from, but I'm sure it's worth a lot of money. I hope. Please, God damn it, please be worth money. Maybe. Yeah, I don't know, but uh, it that? looks it looks rare. Oh wait, wait, I did it. Yeah, it's like always unexpected. So she's one of the queen's friends. Okay. So five oh. girls, five girl harem, and well, so oh, she's from she's that one. one. So that means like she's the most popular girl because she's the one that she's the true hearing. But that's why the guy chose her. Well, my true hearing is actually Miku. Yeah, I'm sure that makes sense. I just realized something. I can get the claw through his arms. That's a pretty good grab. <laughs> what you said, ass? Uh. <laughs> why do you hate me? Oh, there we go. It's bold, it's bold. Didn't work out. Let's try it again. But I had ran out of my half of the money, so it was time to take back what is rightfully mine. Ah, oh, the soft, soft lift. Where's Kaho? All right. Now, do you think they would make Snow the machines Alex. at the front of the shop easier or harder? Harder. <laughs> I don't really go with boxes. Snow I don't really go with earrings. Usually I just go with fashions and it's just by chance. It just you just have to grab it and it's gonna keep dropping. It's a bag. It's a Snorlax bag. Grab it. Like it, it could be the one in thirty tries. It could be one in fifty tries. But it's all about just grabbing it and just be patient. Oh dear. I need getting this on camera. I need two coins, Kyle. But I messed up, so I need more money. <laughs> I need more money. Sorry. Uh, I'm, okay. literally about, to I'm literally about to get it. I think the head flip, man. You think so? Seems the most like logical route. Yes, yes. Oh, <laughs> oh god. my god. It is so persistent. Oh, oh. <laughs> this duck, dude. You hate to see it. It's gotta be the one. It's gotta be. Just poke him between the legs. Oh, oh I'm so sorry. I need more money. Hey, Look at this duck. Look at where I've got him. Yeah, he's just so close. Can I have more? Yeah, of course, of course. Yes. Like, you, have, you don't have pants. It is his money. Well, be good, actually. You just got the back two. There we go. Yes. And finally, I got this stupid, stupid duck. That's not going to sell for much. People hate that figures, Pokemon. And then wasted $2 trying to get an annual plushie, which obviously was never going to work out. And then Kaho spent the last of her money getting a Dragon Quest slime. And $500 I do like later, slime. we were done. Well, we have so many prizes. This is probably one of our best hauls ever. And if we don't make money on this, 
then I'm going to cry. Well, I'm going to keep some of them. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. So it was time to head to Akihabara, <laughs> home of the weebs to sell our anime figures at a store called Jungle. And a lot of the stores in Akihabara have a system where they'll scan the figure and then tell you how much they're going to buy it back for. On a shared database, think of trading in a game at GameStop similar kind of concept. Mm. Right, so we have all of the prizes here, and now he's going to evaluate all of them and give us a price. It's not really much of a negotiation, uh, I believe. I think it's more so they have it's a price a that they will sell for uh, based on something, and that's how much we get. So let's yeah. hope we get a profit. Let's makes sense, out. makes so sense. If you're unhappy, I guess we just have to take it, or yep. you just take yeah, it just keep I'm it. getting rid of all this stuff. <laughs> I, I have no more room in my house. Something. Okay, let's go. One thing worth noting about a lot of these stores in Akihabara is that they only allow you to sell anime figures to them if you are a resident of Japan or are Japanese. Oh, damn it. I'm not entirely sure why, but that's the rule. Just get yourself a car so it's gonna be worth less. Yeah. I'm gonna go back to the hand power Ooh, thing. Damn, you really beat this one up. <laughs> you went to town on this one. He's gonna have to we're gonna have to pay him yeah. to get rid of it. Eight okay. hundred. You can just keep it. Oh, still, like yen down, okay, this one I got this just for like keep ten it. bucks. Seven hundred yen. I think okay, that's how okay. much I paid for it. We're gonna lose money. Wow. No. That's a noodle stopper. That's chainsaw man. It's gonna be worth more, right? Chainsaw man. It's in right now. It's popular. No, it's pop. It's too popular. Oh, no, because they have so many in stock. <laughs> So that's the situation because if they run out of the stock, mm. maybe it could have been better, right? This is a rare golden camel figure, so I'm hoping this one will go for more. No. No, 600. Wow, it's better than Chainsaw Man that's, because that's Chainsaw much, Man is so popular. That's how much I paid for it. Okay, Ram. Oh, that's a good okay. sign. It's rare, it's new. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it's a new one, it's okay. Okay, they okay, have to wait. They have to wait. okay. It's gonna okay. take a little time. Good sign, good sign. Oh, they're quite popular. Mm. 500 yen, okay, Dora Ken, quite popular, but it's still new. It's not a lot of money. Okay, Ram. Mm. Yeah. Always a classic, but there's a lot of rams out there, so it could That's be true. worth less. Let's see. 500 yen. Oh, okay, wow. <laughs> it's a big size, though. Yeah, I guess it's okay. not worth it. This is not going though, well. We can get more here. Oh, five, oh, well, for that size, I guess that's good. I paid right? more than that for it. I paid. Uh, なるほど。なるほど。なるほど。なるほど。なるほど。なるほど。なるほど。なるほど。なるほど。なるほど。なるほど。なるほど。なるほど。なるほど。なるほど。なるほど。なるほど。なるほど。なるほど。なるほど。
体だったら700円。It could be 700. で、まあ、ちょっと。No! He damaged the box! <笑>ちょっと値下げさせていただいてます。Oh, no! 大丈夫、大丈夫。I don't think you can make good money from this. <laughs> I have no idea how that happened. That is flattened. And it seems like disaster struck as I That's was a dent. the most cautious when moving around with my bag. And some of the figures might have gotten messed up, That's causing a big old dent. to go down quite drastically. You saw that. Damn. You heard a mysterious <laughs> link. <laughs> See what I said? That's brand new too. We've seen her mess. I'm losing so much yeah, money. It's brand new. It's brand new. Fresh off the presses. I actually got it from the figure factory itself. Okay. okay. I think that's how much I paid for it. So. Now he's extra checking them. Now he's double, he's triple checking them now. He's popular. 400 yen、yeah, because they have so many already. Because he's popular. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Nah. Nah, it's not going to be that much. He won so many yen. That's the highest reward. Nice. Can I keep them? I do. Tell me something good. Come on. Super rare. 600 yen. All right. Okay. I think I made a profit for once. Alright. Tiny ones? Okay. 300 yen. 300 yen. Ah, that's right. This is 400 yen. 400 yen, okay. Wow, that's more than I thought. Well, Mitsumi is quite popular. 400 yen. 400 yen, nice. Yeah, they're not the main girl, so maybe they don't have many stars. Yeah, yeah. I have no box for this one. This is a cute box. Oh, really? Interesting. Yeah, I just got it. I should just sell it in a bag. <laughs> bag it up, boys. <laughs> oh no. Fifteen bucks for this plush. So hoping it's worth something. Oh, it's too new. I feel like they're gonna be worth two bucks. I want to keep the plushies. Let me keep the plushies. Let's see how much they're worth at least first. What the that cleaner? Three hundred and one. I'm gonna keep it. Okay, you can keep that. Oh no. Sure, sure. I have a feeling there's a good chance they would normally say no to plushies, but they made an exception today. Each plushie that we won is worth a whopping three dollars each. That was way less than that. I was starting to get a lot of GameStop flashbacks. Oh no. They will decide the price on the three boxes. The remaining three boxes. We've learned it's four. It's four. We four. Uh, yeah. yeah, this、um, the Eminence of Shadow one. Then we have the、okay. the Data Live one, and we have the other Ram figure.、Mm. A Ram figure, sorry. They're not the same. They're totally different. Shut up. <laughs> oh no, it's not in a color. It's a different color. Oh, okay. Okay, not bad, not bad. Better than three hundred and two hundred that we've been getting. ああ。Those would sell for much more in America. It's an antique version, so there was like. It's not completely new. God damn it. Is anything new? I don't I'm going to go to the next one. 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 700円 okay, I'll take it. 全部
を買い取っていただくとしたら、い合計いくらになるか出していただいてもいいですか。はい、ちょっと待ってください。ぬ、はい、いぐるみ乗りたい状態で一万四千九百円です。おわ。おお。ダウンベルクロス。ダウンベルクロス。うん。オッケー。あ、もしぬいぐるみも入れたら、入れたらそうですね、一個三百円ぐらいなんで。はい。プラス千五百円で一万五千五百円です、うん。じゃあ,あ、はい。やっぱり高めのものを狙っていただければ、はい、この辺とか、はい、まあこの辺とかを狙っていただければ。How much money did I start with?、Uh... ね、選ぶときはサイズが大きいものとかなんかなんかありますか？そんなこともない。そんなこと。なる。キューポスケットとかちっちゃいからとかそんなこともないキューポスケットの場合はやっぱり値段が高いですから。Yes, キューポスケットサーク。購入層がだいぶ。あ限られてくるから。限られちゃって,てなるほど。え、若い人が買うからってことそうですね。なるほど。そう、キューパースケットに行ってみて。こういう質のフィギュアの方がやっぱり人気は高いんですそうなんですね。特に、鬼滅だと今もう世界的に人気が高い。鬼滅だと今もう世界的に人気が高い。鬼滅だと今もう世界的に人気が高い。鬼滅だと今もう世界的に人気が高い。なんで、そういうのだとすごい回転が早くて。Well, um... I'm gonna sell everything that I got. What do you want to keep? So, I'm gonna sell everything that I got. What do you want to keep? Yeah, so a total of Ichiman, Gosen, Ropiaku, which USD, that'd be like 130 bucks, which is pretty bad because we spent about 350 bucks. 350. It's like a really cool magic trick because I actually just thirded my money in less than a year. Yeah, you may as well just burn the money. My accountant is not going to be happy about this. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, yeah, let's go for it. Yeah. It's cute, isn't it? That's cute. A bunch of fans noticed us while we were doing it, so I just gave some of the figures to them. Because I don't want it, and selling it for 400 yen seems like a waste. So, but normally, if I'm in person, I don't have figures to give out, so don't ask. Yeah, oh, so much the money I made. Yeah, it's more than one piece. I want me paid, so.、Uh, yeah, we we are about. We recouped. About it's not worth it. Of our money. So not, not bad. Terrible, but not good by any means. It's、so、not in fact, we did not bad, but it's bad. Today, we lost three hundred dollars. We got just a bit. We learned like what could be popular. Like we assumed like the zero lemon round, but、yeah. there are too many figurines, so. I think if I do this again, we know what to do. Go for ones that you think suck. I can go back to the drawing board, figure out how to maybe make money doing this, because I really want to make this my job in the future when my YouTube career dies. So this is I got to make this work. If you are not confident about your crane game, then you can't just purchase those things at Jungle. Absolutely. If you do want any of the figures you see in a crane game, don't do crane games. I'm just going to a store and paying for them in the shop. So yeah, if you want to make money playing crane games, it's probably not going to happen. We'd recouped about one. One third of our money that we'd spent on the prizes, so it was safe to say that we failed. But if I was selling each of the prizes online, I think you could make money. But it probably wouldn't be worth all the effort of shipping and dealing with customers. Thank you so much for、yeah. watching. Go check out Kaho's channel,、uh, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Ah,、oh, her Twitch. I already、Bye. follow her on Twitch. Oh, and I reach you. Welcome to the third installment of Emily's Collab Cafe Addiction. Yes, that's right. It has now been 36 cafes. I, I know. Don't, don't look at me. We have even more Collab Cafe victims, even more squeal inducing creative dishes, and some of the ugliest food I've ever laid eyes on. So get comfy and grab yourself a nice drink. Me personally, I'll be joining you with something tasty in my brand new version 2.0 Gamer Sub Shaker. Yeah, shameless plug, but I promise it'll be quick. I just need to show this to you. This shaker just dropped and is drawn by yours truly. I wanted it to be like a new and improved version of the very first cup I dropped with Gamer Subs last year. And I loved the first one, but 2.0 had to be better. So this time, the shaker is double sided with a design on the front、Ooh. and the back. This cup will be available for pre order for just two weeks and then it's gone forever. So if you missed out on the first cup or you want to update your collection, you can pre order through the link in the description and use the link in the description. If it's for their own well, thing, I even get to work on my own customized you know. gamer subs flavor. I really love how this design turned out, and I hope you do too. So, happy lunch day! Now, with that being said, let's start off with the very first collab cafe on the list.
Number 1. Creamy Mommy at Cafe Zenon in Kichijoji To those unfamiliar, Creamy Mommy is a magical girl anime released in the early 80s about oh. a 10-year-old girl who's granted the ability to transform into a 16-year-old pop idol. And you may be wondering, why on earth why? is this old anime getting a collab cafe? Because they're renewing it? Was it an anniversary? It's neither! Apparently, there's a Creamy Mommy collab at Cafe Zen oh. on every year around Christmas time. So, back in December, I decided to go with a friend who really liked watching Creamy Mommy when she was a kid. I thought and hoped that Why is it called Creamy Mommy? Be pretty good this time because Cafe Zenon isn't a venue for collab cafes. They serve actual hearty bar food and function like a regular restaurant. They just so happen to also have a Creamy Mommy menu on a yearly basis. The first thing we ordered was the magical change Ooh. cocktail, which came with a very cute cutout on the rim of the glass. It was supposed to change color when you dropped in the star-shaped fruit, representing the transformation aspect of the character. Unfortunately, though, the color wasn't changing for my glass in particular, and the waiter did that since I ordered the alcoholic version of the drink, maybe it was messing with the pH level. So he brought out a regular version, and it actually worked. It's a really subtle change, but it changes from dark <laughs> she broke her to cocktail. color. Here's how it looks side by side. For our meal, we ordered a creamy cheeseburger which came with star-shaped hash browns and french fries. And I know in my last collab cafe video I said burgers weren't worth getting, but this was actually pretty tasty. The patty was nice and thick and the cheese was super creamy. For dessert, my friend and I shared the strawberry dress parfait which was meant to represent mommy's dress. This parfait came with fresh strawberries, strawberry whipped cream, strawberry Bavarian cream, strawberry ice cream, and strawberry pocky on top. Which sounds exactly like my kind of dessert, and it was mm. really good. Instead of the usual coasters, we received a free magnet for every item we ordered. This wow. cafe was pretty good, and I can definitely wow. see myself returning on like a regular like day for lunch or something. And also for their next Creamy Mommy Christmas collab. I give this one a 4.6 out of 5. <laughs> Christmas. Number two, <laughs> Suzume no Tojimari at Box Cafe in Shinjuku. We've been to this particular venue a few times before, and this time it's to commemorate the release of Makoto Shinkai's latest film, Suzume no Tojimari, which we actually still have yet to watch. And for this cafe, Didas and I brought along Manu, who did watch the film. The first thing that Didas ordered was the potato salad fried udon, which was a dish featured in the movie. She just Didas likes cafes. Fried eggs, udon, and potato salad. So he ended up really liking this combination. It's a bit pricey for how much udon you actually get, but that's to be expected at a collab cafe like this. I ordered the sparrow chair sandwich, and I was really impressed at how cute and creative the sandwich was. There was a super thin layer of egg crepe to make the chair color, and little breadsticks for the legs. The sandwiches themselves didn't really taste like anything special. It was like any other egg sandwich. It's just a sandwich, sandwich bro. You find at any kombini. So the presentation definitely carried this one. Manu ordered the dashi ochazuke, which initially didn't look like Ooh. much, but once he poured the broth in and cracked it open, there was a tasty surprise of salmon and fish eggs inside. Ooh. This tasted really good, and he thoroughly enjoyed it. Next, we shared the Calamity Earthworm door lock crepe, and I have no idea what scene this one is referencing, but I thought it looked really cool. It was like a rolled up crepe and gelatin with cream and frozen fruit and some cereal flakes. Ooh. There was a lot going on, and taste-wise, it was interesting. But I wouldn't say it was delicious. It just it just looked cool. We also shared the door acai bowl, which was made to look like the door in the movie, and we thought this also looked really cool. The, but the taste wasn't really memorable. I, I think it was some kind of like lightly flavored acai yogurt flavor. Again, the presentation carried. I also ordered the Tokyo drink, which came with some jelly and silver pearls on top. I also got a I don't want jelly in my drink. Printed on top of the foam. I didn't get a chance to record the merch area because it was pretty busy, but there was a nice selection of items you could purchase, like magnets, tote bags, hand towels, pouches, dishware, etc. I bought some Polaroid-style photo cards to paste in my journal. Overall, I was really impressed at the presentation of the food, which is honestly some of the best I've seen at a collab cafe. And even if not everything was super tasty, nothing tasted bad, which is great! This was a really solid collab cafe, and I had a good time. 4.9 out of 5. Number 3, Udase Yatsura Cafe at Box Cafe in Harajuku. Udase Yatsura is another 80s throwback, which is an iconic series from Rumiko Takahashi, the same mangaka behind Inuyasha and Ranma Hap. 
And as some of you may know, it got a brand spanking new remake with some beautiful animation and oh. some extremely catchy openings. And like every other new anime that comes out, there was a collab cafe that came shortly after. And this time, I decided to go with Sydney. <laughs> now, right off the bat, I'm giving that would be a fun experience. Because in the venue, there was a giant, stunning statue of Lamentan, which they let you take pictures of. They actually later released a smaller scale version of the statue for pre order as a collaboration between Udisa Yatsura and Boxbase, What's which I thought was super head? cool. What the up? first thing I ordered was a lum oni gratin toast, which came with we a just small watching side salad, videos. Some potato salad, <laughs> and a green soup with cheese and spinach cream on top of the bread loaf. To my surprise, there was also some cheese and bacon inside of the bread loaf as I kept uh. I like bread and cheese, so no complaints here. Sydney ordered what I like to call the love triangle plate, which had spaghetti, omurice, hamburg steak, a side salad, and potato That's salad. That's too much. And as adorable as this plate was, Sydney wasn't very impressed by the taste. For my drink, I ordered oh, the lum the tiger pattern soda, yeah, which is a fresh lemon and too. passion fruit soda with tiger stripes made out of grass jelly. I thought the use of the grass jelly was super creative, and luckily, the drink also tasted really good. For dessert, we both ordered Shinobu's Maiden Strength Parfait, and the presentation for this was really cute and creative. This dessert features Shinobu sitting in a pile of cream and strawberries, and holding up a slice of strawberry cake with a fleeing Ataru in his footsteps made out of powdered sugar. This tasted pretty good as far as strawberry cakes go, but there was a lot of cream. We received some free file folders for reserving this cafe beforehand, and we also got some heart-shaped coasters. There was a little Japan is obsessed with those plastic folders. It was a really selection of items, and I didn't end up getting anything. Damn. Oh, I thought this boy. cafe was tasty what enough, a creamy and the boy. of everything was super cute. He gets a solid 4.5 out of 5. Number 4, a creamy lad. the guest in Ikebukuro. This was my first time going to a collab cafe at this particular venue, and this time I brought along with me Daru and Rie. Right outside the space, there were big cardboard stands of the Vocaloids and very stylish oh. outfits with the merch store right behind them. So the first thing we ordered was the Hatsune Miku two-color curry rice, <laughs> which had both black curry roux and light blue colored white sauce. They couldn't make was very cute, the hair match. It wasn't nearly enough curry for how much <laughs> rice we got. It was like a really thin layer of curry, like two tablespoons worth, and they weren't all that flavorful either. The next thing we shared was oh, the no, Luka not Mentai disappointing Korean cafes. Pasta, which is topped with shrimp, squid, tuna, and potatoes. Ugh. Now I love a good seafood pasta, and the flavor of the I sauce don't. was pretty good. But like all collab cafe pastas, the pasta was way overcooked and a bit dry, so it was Ugh. sort of like this one big dry clump. The dish we ended up enjoying the most was the Mampuku lunch plate, which came with a, a big leak? lunch mat of the characters. Is that a giant leak? This expensive behemoth of a plate had a lot of stuff. It had a large omurice, fried shrimp, fried swordfish, fried chicken, a giant grilled green onion, tamagoyaki, oh, a sugar green cone, onion, a okay. green mashed potato, a side of dashi stock, half of a frozen meat gun, and a side of ketchup mayonnaise and soy sauce. <laughs> Basically, the most big one, thing to share between the two people. With big one, big one, big lump, mushy Everything lump plate noodle. Pretty good, and it was nice That's and healthy, so it sufficiently satisfied all of our stomachs. For our drinks, we ordered three soda floats, <laughs> which were all super adorable. I got the Rin Orange and Peach Float, and while it was very delicious, there was way too much ice. I know it's kind of pointless to keep harping on the too much ice thing every time I order but a float, but too much ice. all I'm saying is, if I finish a drink and the entire glass is still filled to the you brim could with ice, that's a little too much ice. Replace the ice with ice cream. the Hatsune Miku Tika Parfait, which looked very pretty, Extra but floaty. I didn't eat any of it because I don't particularly care for chocolate, ice cream, or donuts, but Rie totally killed it, no. so we can assume it was good enough to finish. I did eat, however, Kakamine Rin's fruit tart, which was a really nice summary How can you tart, not like donuts? Of caramelized orange, and it was genuinely very, very good. I enjoyed it a lot. We, of course, received some free coasters with each item that we ordered, and the merch section had quite a lot of stuff in it. You could get everything from the usual acrylic keychains and badges, to photo cards, to soap, Miku-shaped soap. candy, sweaters, I want Miku even soap. a life-size tapestry of Miku herself. I didn't buy anything, but I, it was I'd a get lot. that. <laughs> Overall, again, another pretty solid cafe that is great for a vocal I'd get this. Even if some dishes were less Sugar satisfying than others. 4.9 out of Hell five. yeah. Dog Number nut. five, Nichijou Cafe at Tokyo Parade in Shibuya Parko. If you've watched my first collab cafe video, you might remember my less than stellar experience at the very first Nichijou collab cafe I ever went to. So I was very pleasantly surprised when Tokyo Parade announced one at their venue. And the menu 
actually looked good. Similar mm. to the Suzume Cafe, this menu had items that directly referenced moments from the anime and manga, which was exactly what I wanted from a collab cafe. I was like, oh, the spilled curry. That's from the scene where Yuko drops a curry pot during her camping trip with Mio and Mai. Yeah, oh, from the, the scene where they spill a That's curry. That's one dream sequence in that one episode. Oh, the cannon roll cake. That's a reference to when Nano found out Hakusa used her arm as roll cake storage. I was so oh. excited to reserve this cafe. It's not often that a collab cafe announcement excites me much anymore, but this was most certainly an exception. You might have also seen Anime is video wild. About his experience with being dragged to the Nichijou Cafe, and he actually really enjoyed it. So I'll be linking that below if you're interested in seeing his vlog about this cafe specifically. Right off the bat, we loved the interior of this cafe. It was a spacious area jam-packed with Nichijou art, including this giant adorable mural on the wall. We received four coasters, one for each drink that we ordered. Where so the first thing I ordered for myself cake? was the camp curry. And I the leggy. I the presentation of this curry with the tiny ladle and mini overturned pot. And of course, <laughs> the tiny devastated Yuko sitting in the curry. It tasted really good, like your typical Japanese curry rice. It also came with a side of tokoroten and a bottle of vinegar, which is a reference to the scene immediately following the dropped curry, where Yuko and Mio have to share a single tokoroten and Yuko ends up coughing all over it before getting literally thrown on the ground. God, I love this anime. <laughs> For my dessert, I ordered the Hakusei Roll. It's me when people ruin my like food. It was served inside Nano's arm cannon. It also came with a glass of milk inside this super cute Sakamoto and Hakusei cup, which was available for purchase at the merch store. It was nice, light, nah, and Nah, just take the one that they drink, served a drink to you in. I iced cocoa, which was basically chocolate milk with a thick layer of Cool Whip and cocoa powder in the shape of Sakamoto's cute little face. Paying 1,100 yen for chocolate milk is honestly insane, but I'll forgive it, <laughs> because Sakamoto's one of my favorite characters. $11 now, for chalky milk. of this cafe was the yakisoba, and for those unfamiliar with what it's referencing, let me provide some context. So there's a scene in Nichijo where Mio asks Yuko to get her some yakisoba for lunch. Yuko returns with the takeout, but when Mio opens it, instead of yakisoba, it's yakisaba, which is grilled mackerel. <laughs> so then they get into a huge argument over the misunderstanding and start insulting each other, and it's a very fun scene. So from the menu, Joey ordered yakisoba, and the staff brought him a takeout box with yakisaba inside, which we all found extremely amusing. <laughs> He ended up receiving the yakisoba, but funny enough, Joey said it tasted more like a seafood pasta and nothing at all like yakisoba. So it was almost like the cafe trolled you twice. And we loved it! This is the sort of chaotic Nichijou experience we were looking for. For his dessert, he ordered the tiramisu pancake, which had a little Sakamoto oh. drowning in a pile of cream. This is a reference to when Hakase made a giant tube of super glue and poor Sakamoto got stuck in it. No. Very, very cute. And according to Joey, no, it was cat. not bad, which is high praise coming from the man who once stated that he hated pancakes. Nabi was also along for the ride, and for his meal, he ordered I the need bacon to watch egg this burger, anime. which came yeah, with it seems a very crazy. looking with smashed burger, ankoro mochi, and a side of miso soup. This dish was a reference to the random things Mio was saying when she was pretending to be hypnotized in chapter 127 <laughs> of the Nichijo manga. And for his dessert, Nabi ordered the wood cube toast, made to look like Mio's hair accessory. Once he cut into it, it revealed some custard cream and blueberries. That's so thick pretty good, bread. But the outer bread part kind of tasted like stale bread. For That's his drink, thick. Nabi ordered the nano oil drink, which was a delicious, refreshing peach soda. In addition thick. to the memorable presentation of both thick. the food and the venue, yes. the merch for this collab was fantastic. They had everything from keychain plushies to hoodies and sweaters of Nichijo art. My personal favorite purchase was this tote bag of Sakamoto hiding Which from Hakase. Forces. It's so cute, and I bring this tote with me pretty much everywhere now. I also bought this magnet oh, I have... set, this Nichijo branded spoon, Oh, yeah, 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 Forces. I have the first volume of the manga. I've just not read it. that's not all. <laughs> Alongside the collab cafe, there was also an exhibition on the bottom floor where you could see Keiichi Arawi's original sketches and drawings and buy some additional merch. I unfortunately couldn't take video footage of most of it, but it was really Dania cool to see his work read. on display like Yeah, this. I can't read. And I hope I get to That's see why more I have a cat saying my chat to me. Because it's such a cool addition. <laughs> I have a chat As cat. As you can probably tell, I loved this cafe, and it's hands down one of the best I've ever been to. 
This is exactly what I picture when I imagine the ideal chat collab cat. cafe experience. Yeah, chat cat. It doesn't have to be mind-blowingly good. It just has to feel like thought and creativity was put into every part of it. And Tokyo Parade Cafe certainly delivered. This cafe gets a 5 out of 5 and honestly is now what I consider the golden standard for all collabs. Number 6, Chainsaw Man at Box Cafe in Shibuya. If you can believe it, this was yet another solid cafe experience. This time I dragged my friend Whitney and then I brought along Manu for the second visit. We've been to the Box Cafe in Shinjuku and the one in Harajuku, but this was my first time in the Shibuya location. Since I booked the reservation in advance, we received some plastic posters featuring a random character as well Damn. as posters based on the number of drinks we ordered. The first thing we tried was the pochita parfait, which was easily the cutest thing on the menu. Little pochita was made out of a tasty pumpkin pudding on top of some cake, frozen mangoes, and granola. He was almost too cute to eat. I ordered the denji omurice, which was a really tasty, savory dish that included an omelet over garlic rice, a side salad, some karage chicken, french fries, and three different jars of sauces. The omelet was it nice does and look good. and had some gorgeous soft boiled eggs inside Ooh. when I cut into it. An eggy, an eggy boy. Good. My only complaint being that the fries were super limp and soggy, which was confusing to me considering the karage chicken turned out pretty crispy. Whitney ordered the mozzarella yeah, toast but and soup no, set, says a lot of oil in the try, chicken. So I have no idea if it was any good or not. We also shared the Devil Mont Blanc, which Ooh. we thought looked super cool. It was a Mont Blanc with a jelly eyeball, a chocolate wafer Why cigarette, and a biscuit they finger. Already the, the flavors fries. were interesting, and there because they're different sauces. If you want different fries, sauces, but I can't on say that I'd eat the it again. omelette. But I think it was still worth it just for the look of it. For my drink, I ordered the Power Bloody Orange Soda, which came with a scoop of vanilla ice cream and some dried peppers on top to make it look like Yeah, those corn. chilies. It was refreshing, and I really liked it. Can't go wrong with a good fruity soda float. Are those what chilies in my soda? Tea, which was served with a bunch of cut fruit and a stick of cinnamon with a cute poach stirring stick that was available for purchase in the merch corner. During my second visit with Manu, I tried the croquette hammer pasta which consisted of chilies. pasta and bacon Get damn chilies. and a tomato sauce and a paper out of, power wielding out a hammer made out of a cream crab croquette my, my which is also soda. very tasty <laughs> this was probably the one and my brain is so fuzzy I <laughs> kind of enjoyed eating pasta at a collab cafe Manu ordered the after the fight chocolate cake which was made to look like the grisly aftermath of a fight that Denji won Again, very creative. I didn't eat any of it, but Manu loves chocolate, so he cleaned up his plate and said it was pretty good. The venue played the Chainsaw Man opening mm. and some of the ending animations on both sides of the wall, which I thought was a really nice touch since it cycled through all the ending themes. Kimono throwing up in Denji's mouth isn't exactly the imagery <laughs> I want to see while I eat, but the music bangs, so it's fine. There was also cardboard cutouts of the characters and their cute little baker outfits that you could take a picture with. Bonus points on the atmosphere for these cute little pochita napkins that were at our table. The merch corner had a small selection of items to choose from and I brought home the pochita stirring stick, a file folder, and a sticker set to paste in my journal. This cafe was pretty fantastic, aside from the weird soggy fries. <laughs> weird soggy fries. Number 7, Sanrio Garden Cafe in Ueno. There's a new permanent cafe in town and this time it's Sanrio and picnic themed. This time I brought my friend, also named Emily. At this location, there no, are too many Emily's available. It's Emily Seption. The basket course for 4,400 yen per person, the afternoon tea course for 3,850 yen per person, and the high tea course for 4,950 yen per person. We decided to go with the cheapest course option, afternoon tea. We reserved the Pompon Pudding themed afternoon tea, and for an extra 1,000 yen, we decided to reserve the special Pompon Pudding sofa seating where we got our own little Pompon Pudding themed area where giant plush puddings were seated alongside us. There were also <laughs> we other Sanrio characters with their own sofa <laughs> seating areas like Cinema Roll, Kuromi, and Hello Kitty. In the back I like of the Hello room, Kitty. There was a cute little picnic photo <laughs> I just set love cats, man. We each received our own personal pastry stand with sweets on the top tier and savory items on the bottom tier. The sweet tier had a mini brick toast with a chocolate pom pom pudding head on top, a mini parfait, two small slices of cake, a creme brulee tart, a vanilla macaron, and some whipped cream with strawberries. Meow. The savory tier had what <laughs> Me like a small Ow. salad, a mini roast beef slider, a sandwich of some kind, and a savory egg thing with pesto and olive <laughs> an oil egg drizzle thing. on the bottom. 
The tea area was self-serve, which was nice because you could individually pick out whatever tea bags you wanted to try and fill up your personal pot at the hot water station as many times as you needed. You could have mixed tea. Very, very Mixed good. tea. I really loved the little break toast, the macaron, and the creme brulee tart, and the roast beef slider on the bottom tier was so delicious. I wish there was more of it, or that it was bigger. Emily and I really liked the food, and we thought everything tasted better than we huh. expected. Huh. They Except said there was just bags. one problem. <laughs> because of how small everything was, especially tea the same tier, we were still hungry. We decided maybe it was a good idea to grab some beef bowls at a quick gyudon place in the area. So after we took a look at the cozy little merch corner near the checkout area, Did they get we left food poisoning? and I got a small gyudon and miso soup set at a nearby place for 350 yen. 350 yen. That's less than three dollars. And it was delicious. I sat there, thinking to myself, <laughs> we just collectively paid 8,800 yen oh my for a very cute God. afternoon tea that couldn't sufficiently satisfy us. I'm eating a meal that is literally an eleventh of the price of one of those pastry stands. <laughs> it's not worth the money. And paying so much when I could have been it's eating beef bowls the money. for less than 500 yen. I take pork over Anyways, beef any I'm day. I'm Sanrio Garden Cafe a 4.5 out of 5. <laughs> Number 8, Kopinsan Cafe at the Guest in Ikebukuro. We're going back it's to the same venue the that had the Miku Cafe, the but this experience. time it's for Kopinsan. An existential crisis is quite the experience. Words of encouragement and positivity for even the smallest of achievements, <laughs> like Hey, you got out of bed this morning at the first alarm. Nice work. You were really working, <laughs> Not me. Right? I kept this pillow for you so you can rest. Kopinsan is a sweet little guy who's always proud of you, even when you struggle to be proud of yourself. And for that reason, he is insanely popular here. Daru also happens to be a massive Kopinsan fan, so of course I had to bring her to this cafe. There actually was no reservation system, so we decided to show up on opening day and hope for the best. <laughs> After receiving our number, we waited around one hour, which is really not that bad, especially for opening day. Yeah, but they're gonna During rush time, you. We admired the giant Kopinchan mural and watched people take pictures with their tiny little Kopin plushies. We also took a look at the menu. And he is cute. He's a little cutie. themed after an American diner. Once Aww. we were seated, we were given some free paper but penguins on and American. based on the number of drinks we ordered. Now, again, I know what I said about Collab Cafe burgers last time. But yes, I did order the Kopinchan burger because come on, look at him. He's so cute. And I'm going to be 100% honest Copium with you. Chan. It was actually good. <laughs> like an actual tasty burger. The onion rings were also crispy and delicious. In fact, my only complaint about the burger is that it was too small for how expensive it was. But Copium to Chan. One of the only Collab Cafe burgers to not make me feel sad. Daru ordered the steak and garlic rice, which came with garlic butter rice, a quail egg, steak with some fried garlic chips and corn, potato salad, and a side of steak sauce and cheddar cheese sauce. Again, very cute, and again, very tasty. The rice and very steak expensive. Delicious, but the cheddar cheese sauce was definitely the worst of the two sauces. <laughs> so I do not recommend eating cheese sauce in Japan in general. The third thing we shared Just was the weakest. Don't eat dishes cheese we ordered, in Japan. And that would be the cheese pasta. It was, it's cheese. as I feared, overcooked noodles in tomato sauce <laughs> with very squishy meatballs cheese and cheese Japan that sort bad. of congealed into yes. film on top. Like, it wasn't inedible by yes. any means, but considering how good the other two dishes were, this one was a bit of a struggle to finish. I mean, hey, they can't all be winners. For our drinks, we well, they should a be. Kopenchan printed cafe latte and a Vienna coffee with the cutest little Kopenchan shaped cheese. sugar. Aww, it's yummy. cute he is. And a strawberry milkshake, which unfortunately I had to bend really some moldy to cheese American today because it wasn't really a creamy Sad strawberry times. milkshake. It was more like icy milk with a tiny bit of strawberry puree in it. It was just slightly flavored cold milk, essentially. Lastly, for dessert, we shared the Kopenchan Caramel Sundae, and it was a delicious team effort. There were so many textures in this sundae, with scoops of caramel ice cream and a mini waffle and crushed hazelnuts, a thin waffle cone biscuit thing, whipped cream, cereal, bananas, and a surprise of Nutella at the bottom of the glass. This was the perfect shareable dessert, and for once, it was a collaborative effort, and not just me eating two bites and giving Daru the rest. 
The merch section had lots to offer, most notably these very cute pieces of apparel, but also tote Ooh. bags, plushies, dishware, plushies. fridge magnets, a bajillion stickers, art books. Give me, I could Give tell me the plushies! For the average Gulpinjan fan to choose from because Daru was struggling to not throw everything in her handbasket. I walked away with this very cute strawberry My Melody Kopenchan. Hell yeah. Holders, and this fridge magnet that I thought was a pretty I love fridge magnet. Me and Daru. <laughs> Another solid cafe in the bag. Nothing but bangers so far, fellas. I give Kopenchan Cafe a 4.9 out of 5. Only 4.9? Next up, this is a cafe that rivals the Nichijou Cafe in terms of how feral I was over wanting to make a reservation. This was quite literally a dream cafe of mine since I started doing this collab cafe series. I knew if a cafe ever came out Pie for this Captain particular Chakra? anime, there would be no stopping me. Can you guess what it is? I present to you the yeah. Captain Sakura collab at Q-Pot Cafe in Amotesando. Yeah, I know my this anime, my boy. This is first time going to the Q-Pot Cafe, which seems to specialize in afternoon tea. So I was very excited, Ooh, but also kind of nervous, She's because Q-Pot is a super expensive sweet <laughs> brand. So I knew this was probably going to be one of my most expensive collab cafe visits yet. But for Miss Sakura Kinomoto, the queen, the fashion icon, the light of my life, my sun oh. and stars, it would be worth uh. it. And speaking of it being a jewelry brand, they actually released oh, some jewelry. collaborative cardcaptor Sakura themed jewelry and packaged sweets. And the ones that really the only jewelry I wear is earrings. Charm made to look like a caro shaped cream biscuit, and this cloud card book locket necklace, which, when opened, revealed the sweet cloud card. Oh my god, this is so pretty! Oh god, but twenty eight thousand. It's like Yu Gi Oh just... for girls. Uh, why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> uh, whoa, whoa. You're getting kind of close there. You're not actually thinking of buying that, right? <laughs> Hello? Em Emily, please. <laughs> Emily, please! Don't, don't do it! I beg of you! H haven't I been through enough? No! Ah! Ah! Cupot Cafe was tucked away in a small lit-up alleyway in a Motisando, and once we entered, we were greeted with the most gorgeous decor of strawberry and cream wallpaper, strawberry pillows, oh, so images of Sakura, and various iconic Okay, I may as well just burn it. Old card capture Sakura just burn it so you can't the spend the money. <laughs> this was it. My dream collab cafe. This was also a great excuse for me to bring my Sakura Ida bag with me. We ordered the Sakura Friendship Afternoon Tea Set, which came with a sweet tear and oh, a savory no, tear. Oh no, not the afternoon the tea. The sweet tear had caro-shaped biscuit sandwiches, tiny glasses oh, of Sakura-flavored cream with The savory meringue, stuff looks kind of big, representing so that's Sakura's good. Best friend Tomoyo, and Sakura-flavored macarons with elderflower cream and candy pearls. I love Sakura. The savory bottom tier had a croissant sandwich with ham, broccoli, and eggs, a side oh, of clam all. chowder, and cubes of vegetable pate. I guess now would be a bad time to tell you that I'm not a fan of Sakura flavored desserts or floral flavors in general. So I ended up packing well, I am. my share of the desserts to bring home for Ditus, but I was very much enjoying the blueberry mousse cake and the croissant sandwich on the savory tier was so delicious and flaky. The afternoon tea set also came with two free Ooh. drinks. Daru ordered the Caro drinkable cake milkshake latte, which that came was with so an good. adorable Caro cookie and a side of espresso to cut the sweetness oh, in this insanely I love milk sweet cake. Drink, which is a lot, even for Daru. I, on the other hand, ordered the Sakura pink grape cider, which had sweet and sour pink grapefruit mixed into seltzer water and served in this beautiful Sakura glass, which was actually available for purchase in the store. And she bought this it. This was super refreshing, and just what I needed to counter all the sugar that we were eating. Speaking of which, we also ordered the cloud card book plate, which is made out of a book-shaped cookie, peach mousse, whipped cream, strawberries, and another sour macaron. That looks so on the yummy. Side. I uh, I literally only got this because I couldn't get over how cute it was that it was shaped like the cloud card book, but flavor-wise, it was not great. Oh god this damn was it! So bad. This was twenty. But it looks yet. so good. <laughs> I mean, like it came with a drink, but still. You know what dessert I did really love, though? The Sakura Chiffon Mug Cake. This ah, mug cake, cake made to look like Sakura's iconic dress was a deliciously moist cake with pistachio mousse, Sakura whipped cream, a red velvet cookie bow, and meringue wings. This was hands down my favorite dessert at the cafe. But it's just the a mug part, cake. I got to take home the cafe-exclusive mug that it was served Ooh. in. 
Okay, that's worth not it. for free because it's like 3,000 yen, so you are actually paying for the mug. But hey, still worth it. Last but not least, I'd like to show you this massive parfait that my friend Emily oh. got during her cafe visit with me. I'd I eat that. I don't know if it was any good or not, but I would eat it. Look impressive. They had some merch on display in the cafe Give it as to well me. as the second floor of the building. Aside from the cup that came with my mug cake, I ended up purchasing the sakura knew it. pot glass, I fucking some washi tape, and this very cute strawberries and cream themed <laughs> wireless charger. Overall, this like, that's a charger. is perfect for any card capture soccer fan. Oh my Super god. Super sugary and sweet, but that's Qpot's entire branding, so I was sort of expecting that. If they ever do a collaboration with another anime that I'm a fan of, I will most definitely be returning. 5 out of 5. Number 10. Alright, you all saw this one coming. The Oshinoko Cafe at the Guest in Ikebukuro. That's right, baby! We're here for the third time, and this time oh we're my here god. for Oshinoko. <laughs> I initially went to the Yoshinoko collab at Sweet Paradise in Ikebukuro, but it wasn't really that good, and I didn't have much to say about it, so... Yes, rip his face apart. A ...proper looking Oshinoko cafe. This time, I brought along Daru and Masa, both of who are also big fans of the anime and manga. The nice thing about this cafe is that there was an exhibit coinciding with it right next door. The guest cafe was only taking reservations for the weekends, and weekdays were walk-up only. The exhibit, on the other hand, was accepting reservations for every day, so we decided to get exhibit tickets for a Thursday evening and then try our luck at walking up to the cafe afterwards. The exhibit was really cool, and they displayed stuff that I couldn't take pictures of, like animation storyboards and keyframes, and things meant for picture taking, like Ai's dress, the twins' oh. uniforms, and a recreation of the living room that Ai recorded her kid's birthday video in. At the end of the exhibit, there was a merch section with way too many temptations. I ended up getting three sets of file folders, which made a total Why? of nine file folders. This acrylic stand of eye, what do you even use file art, folders for? Journal, and perfume with deceptively big packaging. After the exhibit, we got a number slip at the cafe and waited about two hours to be seated. We realized we probably should have grabbed a number slip before we headed into <laughs> our file. scheduled exhibit yeah. time, but well, yeah, but what are you filing? So and now we know better for next time. While we waited, we decided to check out the giant wall of Oshinoko characters next to the cafe and the merch store, where pretty oh, much everything yeah. was sold out. But there was a machine Bam. that let you print character stickers you got me. printed on them. And I got myself a sheet. Once we were finally seated, we were greeted with some free paper placemats and star-shaped coasters for every item that we ordered, which was basically the whole entire menu. First thing we ordered was the aqua and ruby curry, which oh came my with God. pink rice to represent I, Curry dyed pink and blue for the twins, and some meatballs and star-shaped yellow carrots. I do we not want to know what's this, in that dye. the sauce actually tasted like normal Japanese curry. Although, like the Miku curry from earlier, there was just not enough of it. It was like a super thin layer of curry, so we finished it pretty quickly. Second thing we ordered was the on-stage cream pasta, which had a cute little wafer eye standing on top of some pink pasta with seafood, tomatoes, beets, and heart-shaped radish. Oh, I hate seafood. I don't know why I keep ordering pasta. Y you'd think it, I it was dry. Now. We all tried it and agreed that it was pretty mid and not very flavorful. Like it wasn't Damn. terrible, but even grocery store freezer section pasta had more flavor than this. Oh, the best no. thing out of the three <laughs> food items was definitely Kana's stuffed pepper hamburger. This burger had peppers stuffed with burger meat, cheese, and tomato, and it came with a side of pickled peppers, french fries, and minestrone soup. The french fries were nice and crispy, and the pickled peppers were great. The burger was also super moist and tasty. <laughs> moist. We were very pleasantly surprised by this one. For our drinks, we got the I Berry Herb Tea Lemonade, which came with two small scoops of ice cream, which I think was okay. Ruby Strawberry Yogurt Drink, which I think was the best tasting one, and Aqua's chocolate milk drink, which we all agreed tasted really bad because the white chocolate why, sauce why is was it blue? Unpleasant. Sorry, Aqua. I mean, I know it's Aqua, but why is it? Cake, which is how do you make it blue? Cream, it came with a small scoop of grape ice cream. I didn't really care for the grape ice cream, but the cake tasted light and sweet, and it wasn't bad. Next dessert was the Aqua and Ruby ice cream donut plate, which was made to look like the scene. Where are we the getting this blue color from? The light sticks. I thought the presentation was really cute, but since I don't really like ice cream or donuts, I left it to Masa and Daru to Wait, what is in the dye? The creativity of it. The last dessert we the ordered food was coloring. the Night Sky First Star Parfait, which has black currant puree and jelly, purple potato ice cream, 
black currant ice potato. cream with yogurt and a large melted sugar decoration. As pretty as this was, none of us liked it, unfortunately. So the overall, flavors do not cool go exhibit, together. Very cute presentation. Oh my god! The menu fell a little short flavor-wise, aside from the excellent burger plate. I'm gonna have to give this one like a 3.9 out of five. Number 11, Mofasan and Sanrio at Box Cafe in Shinjuku. If you remember the Mofasan Cafe I went to and loved in my oh, first so Box much Cafe left. video, then you might recognize these adorable kitties. We're back at the same venue for their Sanrio Collaboration Cafe. We received a coaster for each um, drink that we ordered and cat, there were cat. adorable illustrations of the cats on all of the cats. tables. First thing I ordered was the Pom Pom Pudding Float, which is a milk tea with a caramel flavored ice cream scoop made to look like a pom pom pudding cat. I thought it tasted pretty good. Cat. Jiru ordered the cafe latte with a random Oh my god, it's so cute. Top. For her meal, she ordered Hangyodon's romantic plate, which featured a kitty wearing Hangyodon's head made out of blue rice, a side salad with lotus root chips, a hamburger patty, an octopus wiener, and some fried shrimp chips. Octopus she wiener. She really liked this one, especially <laughs> the crispy shrimp chips. I ordered... And I'm gonna maybe pronounce this wrong, so please don't clown on me in the comments. My Melody Gapao Rice Plate, which had a little kitty dressed up as My Melody and a heart-shaped fried egg. Get done. Flavor-wise, it was pretty good, but Get done. I don't know what happened during the seasoning stage because this was so unbelievably salty, it was painful. I'm talking like stomach egg levels of salty. I don't know why. It's Zero like my personality. Was also <laughs> extremely salty, and it was really difficult for me to continue eating it. Which is a shame, because this plate was so cute! For dessert, we shared the Get striped parfait, which had pudding and lemon cream and a very cute kitty head on top. It was super, super cute! That and cat is good. so cute! Daru really, really likes this one. I love cats! I can't tell you how the merch was, because everything was sold out, with the exception <laughs> of some cat plushies. It cats! Like Melody is the least popular out of all of them. Overall, this cafe was very cute and pretty alright, but my dish had criminal levels of salt and Daru and I both agreed that the first Mofasan cafe we ever went to was the superior experience. So, like 3.8 out of 5. Sorry. I feel so bad. Number 12, last and most certainly the least, we have the Bochi oh, Cafe no. at Tower Records Cafe in Amotisando. This was my very first time at Tower Records in Motosando, and it will also be my last. Oh my god, now, like that was a bad experience. That I'm getting into, to an extent. The main reason why I chose to go to this cafe was because of this omurice, which you might have seen me post on Twitter. Uh. The reason why this looks so gross is because it's a recreation of this scene from Bochi the Rock. <laughs> I loved this scene, and I thought the cafe going out of their way to recreate a nasty looking dish on purpose was very funny, so I was sold. And the unfortunate victim who I brought along with me was Garnt. Oh, no, no, no. The atmosphere not was nice and chill, and there were some very cute decorations of all of the girls. I feel bad for Garnt. You Gaunt. could see the kitchen in the back, the seats were nice and comfy, it looked promising. We even received some free fabric stickers made to look like backstage passes, and a set of postcards of the girls. I thought, Wow, I wasn't expecting this. You know what else I wasn't expecting? Having to pay the mandatory set menu fee of 3,980 yen per person, <laughs> meaning you had to buy a drink and an entree and a dessert. Oh my I'm god. I'm used to most cafes requiring everyone to at least get one drink, but I've never been forced to choose between two unappetizing looking desserts that I did not want. Maybe it'll be I got the pancakes. Maybe the food will be surprisingly good. I'm gonna skip over describing the drinks because they were fine. Not much to say about it. They tasted fine. It's blue. What the makes it blue? The came out just as they looked in the pictures. And if you're wondering what the pink sauce is, it's just white sauce dyed pink. Oh. Where did I get the pink from? Oh no. Holy shit. It didn't have much of a flavor and there was way too much of it. The egg was a thin, pathetic excuse of an kind omelet and the rice was bland. We knew it was gonna suck, and it elicited the same reaction from us as it did from Yo and Nijika, so I can't really complain. I knew it was gonna be bad. But you know what was shockingly worse? Ryo's chicken curry. Oh no. It looks pretty good, right? No. But as soon as we had a taste, it's vivid. We realized it tasted like nothing. 
It tasted like a slightly sour tomatoey sauce with no other semblance of a flavor profile. How do you mess with curry? How? We're in Japan. They sell the curry flavor blocks at the supermarket. Chicken curry is one of the easiest dishes to make. This tastes like tomato and water. Is it Even I can make chicken curry. I made chicken curry oh, last week. You or the week before, before maybe. I can't remember. Cake, some fruits, and I love curry. My enemy uses I love sorbet. curry too. You know what? This was probably the best thing we ordered. Granted, the bar is extremely low, but at least this thing was It's literally just cake with oranges. I reluctantly ordered Kita strawberry pancakes. They were eh. I, I would eat that. My was already broken by the time I got the dessert, and unfortunately <laughs> I only had like one bite or two, and then I picked off and ate all the strawberries that were on the plate. The Damn. other rice definitely tasted like bochi kursit. If only the pancakes tasted like Kita used her delicious spell on it. Anyways, there was a small selection of merch in the corner, and I ended up picking up a sticker pack, a file folder, and this neat little coaster that's in the shape of a vinyl record. Ooh. I give this cafe a 1 out of 5. Definitely <laughs> ending on a high note. Every I time I check now. another one of these cafes Even off after my seeing list, the shit curry? I to myself, I Even after the bad curry? YouTubers that showed really cool, obscure, hole-in-the-wall food spots. Yes. Like... I took a trip to wow. this restaurant that seats a maximum of three and a half people. Go and get yourself a curry, my boy. Where this 98-year-old man has been making noodles by hand for the past 70 years, and each bowl is only 600 yen. But instead, I chose the niche of exploring cafes that exist solely to exploit the enthusiasm of anime <laughs> fans with disposable She's incomes. She's exploiting and herself. Of cute, useless things. When I visited I'm well aware DC. that I'm the perfect it target customer for that. That does I sound good. I wish I wasn't to allergic cafes, to fish. Every so often getting the golden collab cafe experience. I genuinely have a very fun time with these and I wouldn't have gone to so many if I wasn't. I'll start uh, eventually, hell yeah. okay? I will, I promise. Fish you might have also noticed skill that there were overall... It is, it is a skill issue. And that would be because I've gotten much... So if you want to poison me, I just to feed to. me fish. After going to over 35 of these, I've gotten pretty good at figuring out if a cafe is worth going to by just glancing at the menu or seeing exactly which venue it's but at. But none of them if are I worth really that money. experience at any one particular venue, I keep them bookmarked I'll in my head for possible repeat visits. Oh, hell yeah. yeah. See that I've gone That'd to the be the best way to go out. ...and the guest cafe in Ikebukuro multiple times. Because I know, for the most part, I'll get a pretty solid experience. There's a video that I'll make sometime yeah. at the end of the year that'll be like an extensive <laughs> guide on all the tips and tricks <laughs> I've picked up while collab cafe hunting, which will include info I haven't had time to put in my previous videos. I'm just giving the topic a test run at a few cons I've been guesting at in person this year. If you stayed until the end, thank you so much for watching all 44 minutes of this Hell yeah. beefy video. Of course I'll I watch her video. I never want to work on a video this long ever again, and I think I have <laughs> Most like of my videos are pretty long. Of these <laughs> types of collab ca cafe videos in me. I got like one more in me, and then I think I'm done. And just a reminder, my Gamer Subs Cup is available for pre-order for two weeks. Hell yeah. Right, I'll, I'll see you again soon. And Bye. I'll watch you watching her video. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we could do another one. Let's do another one. Let's look so, at more disgusting food. I may have a bit of a problem. I have a crippling collab cafe addiction and it doesn't seem to be stopping anytime soon. So lucky for you, you get to hear me talk about 12 more collab cafes that I had the pleasure of going to. Now, unlike I kind of want to go to one now. <laughs> I broke up the cafes into categories. The majority of the cafes in this video are pop-up reservation cafes, meaning by the time this video is out, they will have all ended. So this isn't really a travel suggestion video so much as it is just me trying to make up for all the money I've given to these cafes. Listen, I'll quit eventually, okay? Also, I will not be judging wait time oh, yeah. because I used a reservation system for all of them. Thank God. <laughs> Instead, I'll be judging the merch they have available at every cafe. Okay, let's just jump right into it. But first, I need to introduce you to today's sponsor. No! Randy, the tea side of this dirty part of the game. For seven days no sponsor. Because, oh, that's a no game, sponsor. The Little Alchemist collab at Square Enix Cafe in Akihabara. The Square Enix Cafe is technically a permanent cafe, but the collaborations they do cycle out every two months or so. Oh. I ended up going to this cafe twice with my friend Daru because they had different menu items available depending on which dates you went. So we managed to try a lot of different things. 
During our first visit, I tried the Roy Mustang That's seaweed alchemist drink, and Darrow ordered the Dwarf in the Flask drink that came with a bunch of seaweed noodles on top. Yeah, it's seaweed. I also ordered the Philosopher's Stone drink, which came with a glowing ice cube. And I think out of all the drinks I tried during this visit, the Roy Mustang one was definitely the tastiest. Why is it we blue? We also ordered a greed salad, which was actually kind of heavy because there was a thick layer. How of do they get the blue color? The salad, so it was pretty on theme. I ordered the Grandma Finaco cream stew, and what it was edible delicious. thing can make things Super blue? Comfy, cheesy, warm, and savory. <laughs> Daru and I also shared Ed's tomato risotto, which was not very good and was honestly kind of bland. For dessert, we shared an Al's chocolate dome tart, which was super cute. And if you pulled away the Al wafer, there was a cute little cat inside the dome sitting in the fruits. <gasps> Kit Kat! This was our favorite thing because of the cuteness factor and also because it actually tasted really good. During our second visit one week later, I ordered Alphonse's acid bacteria juice, which sounds disgusting, but it was actually pretty tasty. And the Taboo of Alchemy, which was a blue soda that you were supposed to pour pomegranate syrup into. It was also pretty tasty. Unfortunately, I couldn't say the same for Daru's Eastern Command's Bad Coffee, which sounds like an ironic name, but it was in fact really, really bad coffee. You're <laughs> supposed to pour in the concentrated coffee syrup to turn it into good coffee, but unfortunately, it didn't no work. amount of alchemy could save how bad this was. But you know what? I can't really knock off points for that because uh, technically you're probably supposed to add the it. milk. It's in the name. This time I ordered Armstrong's Not the artistic kuru kuru pasta, which wasn't bad. If you're an authentic pasta enthusiast, maybe don't order pasta at a collab cafe because you'll probably hate it. But personally, I will happily eat a can of Chef Boyardee, so my standards are much that lower. Pasta has a Daru ordered Scar's <laughs> Ishbal steak, which is actually sure does. tofu over a bed of garlic breadcrumbs. It was pretty good, but by far the best meal we ordered was Roy's flame grilled steak. It was a beautiful medium rare and it tasted so, so good. We absolutely murdered that, that plate together. For dessert, we ordered the sweet temptation. Steak's expensive treat, anyway. Which came with granola, whipped cream, candy jelly, granola? fruit, and chocolate ice cream. Lastly, Daru ordered Winry's apple pie. supposed to be a dessert, pie, not a I breakfast. Eat, Daru said the pie tasted pretty basic, but she really liked <laughs> the, the slightly salty vanilla ice cream it came food wars. with. Oh, oh hell right, yeah. Cool. But like I said, this was over the course of two Basic visits. bitch pie. The atmosphere was really cool. There was plenty of art on display on the walls, including this giant illustration on the wall behind us. And they were playing various opening theme songs. I really liked how creative they comfy. got with the food arrangement and names. And this is a great experience if you're a huge Fullmetal Alchemist fan like Daru. So even though not absolutely everything I've never seen a it. hit, overall this <laughs> cafe gets a 5 out of 5. Number two, the Final Fantasy Eortzia Cafe in Akihabara. I hope I pronounced that right. This Final Fantasy XIV themed I never cafe played is it. actually a permanent reservation cafe. Someone actually told me about this cafe in the comment section in my first cafe video, and I couldn't believe I missed it. So even though I don't play the game, I had to go. I went with Nabi, who actually plays the game, and the Gaming Beaver, who also doesn't play the game, but wanted to come along to join the collab cafe experience. The atmosphere was really nice, and the interior was made to look like you were in Carline Canopy. One of the biggest standouts in the menu for this cafe was that they had a drink for every single class in the game, and each one looked unique. James ordered the Summoner, what? Nabi how, ordered how the did Black make Mage, it blue? and the Crystal Tower, and I ordered the Scholar drink, mostly because it came with a butterfly-shaped spoon and I thought it was really pretty. For my appetizer, I ordered a fat cat pork bun, which is one of the cutest things I've Kick ever out. seen in a cafe, and also happened to be really tasty. James ordered the beaver croquettes, <laughs> for obvious reasons. He also ordered the mysterious muddy curry. Nobby ordered the Takeshi beef bowl, and I ordered the chocobo carbonara, which, while very cute looking, uh, did not taste very pleasant. The pasta was kind of mushy and overcooked. Just and don't order pasta. Great, so if I could, I would have ordered something else, but Nobby and James both really liked their dishes. For dessert, we shared the Black Demon Crest Tiramisu. Overall, I'd say the strongest parts about this cafe would be the atmosphere and the variety of drinks they have available. And if you like collecting cafe coasters, this cafe gives you a coaster for every single item you order, not just drinks. Unfortunately, there wasn't any merch available when I went, so oh I my can't God. really tell you what extra things you can buy there. This cafe is definitely a must if you're a fan of the game, and I love how vast the menu is, so you could come here many times Ooh. and never get the same thing twice. 
I think I'm gonna have to give this one like lots a, of drinks a, options. A very strong four point eight out of five. I just knocked off point two points for not having merch, but like that's not a big deal. Number three, Ebe at Sweets Paradise. Eeb. This one might feel super nostalgic Eeb. to some of you, as it did for me. To commemorate the Eve remake for the Switch, there was a special Eve Is it me? Now, the well, thing it's about sold out, Paradise probably. is that it's a dessert buffet, and you have to pay the buffet ticket to eat here. And you might be thinking, but Emily, what if I just want to eat from the collab menu? I thought that too, and uh, too bad you still need to pay for the buffet <laughs> ticket in addition to the individual collab cafe oh menu items, God. even if you don't touch anything from the buffet. On the bright side, that means if you're still not full after you eat the collab stuff, you can gorge yourself on cake slices and pasta and curry afterwards. I'd just so be just a getting up, the cake. If you ever book a collab cafe reservation with Sweets Paradise, expect an extra 10 bucks to be charged to your receipt. Anyways, yeah. so let's talk about the food. Gorge time. First thing we ordered was time the to gorge on cupcakes. pasta and the curry rice. They were fine. Presentation wise, it wasn't anything I want special, a plate. and the Sweets Ebib. Paradise buffet Is it already Ebib? has Ebib? pasta and curry, so. It felt like kind of a waste to pay extra for more curry and pasta that just had some extra wafers on it. But it tasted fine. For oh, the pasta tasted the fine? Curry, which was very cute, but it also tasted just fine. The pasta was fine for, for once? We got the blue lemonade and Why is it blue? Tea, which tasted, you guessed it, fine. The merch was pretty basic with Everything the usual is file fine. folders. <laughs> Everything is fine, but what's in the blue drink? Every other cafe. <laughs> Like, this was honestly the most bare-bones basic collab cafe you could possibly ask for. Not amazing, blue not terrible. Lemonade. Just From Blue five, Lemons? 2.5 out of 5. Which is unfortunate, because I feel like there's so much- Where are we getting the blue- concept. Yes. Oh, Number okay, four, got it. Tokyo got it. Mew Mew at Moto Cafe in Ikebukuro. I was yeah, Tokyo waiting Mew Mew for Tokyo Mew 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 to Mew finally Mew get their own cafe, and they did! I actually ended up going to this one twice! The first thing I tried was the quiche plate, which included a quiche, a side salad, fries, and a side of ratatouille. Daru ordered the side of ratatouille plate, and I also ordered the strawberry chocolate fruit sandwich. Oh, that was so good! Visit, I ordered the Aoyama black and white stew plate, and I'll be honest, all of these items tasted pretty good, but presentation-wise, there really wasn't a lot going on. Not even one of those low effort wafer paper ratatouille. decorations. Just a side. You're not really eating themed food, more like regular cafe food that's extremely overpriced. But to be honest, I'd rather eat uninteresting looking food that tastes good than the other way around. Yeah, so as long as it I tastes good, good time, it's fine. Everything's fine. The drinks, unfortunately, were a disappointment. We Aww, ordered it's blue. tea, minto drink, and zakuro tea. And they literally all tasted like water that was slightly flavored. Which was a trip because they looked so What's vibrant in the and tasty, blue? it threw me off. The merch was also pretty cute, but also super limited. It was the typical badges, charms, stickers, and file folders, and I ended up picking up the stickers Nothing and file that folders. I'm interested in. Overall, this was a pleasant experience, but I'll be honest, I was expecting a little more from a collab that seemed so obvious, considering the characters work at a cute cafe in the anime. Uh, three out of five. Number five, Genshin Impact at Sweets Paradise. Here Never we are played at it. Another Sweets Paradise. Cafe. Never played it. This time I went with Daida Sanabi and we ordered quite a bit. The atmosphere was nice and busy. They played footage from the game on the walls, and there was music from the Inazuma soundtrack playing the whole time. I feel like this collab definitely had more thought put into it than the Eve Cafe, because they actually went out of their way to recreate some of the dishes from the game. I ordered Kazuha specialty dish, which was a grilled fish with rice and miso soup, which is a combo I usually really enjoy, but this fish didn't taste very seasoned, so I wasn't Damn, really your a fish fan. sucks. I also ordered Toma's Oden, which tasted pretty good, as expected. I, I think it's hard to screw up Oden, to be honest. Didas ordered Yai Miko specialty dish, which was a kitsune udon, and it tasted really good, actually. He completely annihilated it. My personal favorite was Ayaka's specialty dish. If he ordered really it, he can pretty, eat it. Like the one in the game, and super tasty. The outside was the super soft sweet mochi, and the inside had red bean, whipped cream, and strawberries. It was so good. The last dessert we tried was an Anmitsu themed after Goro, and I felt pretty indifferent about this one. I wasn't really into it. For the drinks, I had to order Ayato's milk tea boba, and Didas ordered Raiden Shogun's dango milk, which had a cute little blue ribbon on it like in the game. 
That is cute. He did not get to try it because he drank it so fast, <laughs> but he really enjoyed it. So I'm assuming it was really good. Nabi ordered the black oolong tea and karage combo, which she also enjoyed. Overall, I do like the food oolong. And drinks were pretty good, and I liked that oolong. some of the items were presented in the same likeness as their game counterparts. I got to take home a big stack of coasters that they gave out for each item we ordered. And while the merch section had the usual acrylic stands, badges, and file folders, you could also purchase plush slimes, bags, plush and slime. washi tape for every region in Genshin besides Sumeru. I love plushies. I dedicated an entire journal page to. Since it was Eula's birthday week, we also received a free Eula postcard, which I also pasted in my journal. Vitus usually hates co-op cafes, and he really liked this one, so this one counts as a success in my book. Uh, 5 out of 5, sure. Number 6, Berserk Cafe in Chiyoda. First off, the atmosphere was great because the first thing you see when you walk in is this giant cardboard display of guts, which looked incredible, and this iconic Dragon Slayer sword right underneath it. In the same room, I there's big boy sword. art on display that you can browse through, which I'd never seen oh. a club cafe do, so that was really cool. Similarly to the Square Enix Cafe, the ordering system was great because you got to just swipe through the menu and select which items you wanted. And you could actually order merch this way too. Titus ordered the branded sacrifice roast beef sandwich, which was literally just a sandwich and fries with a symbol on the sandwich. This was 1,540 yen, are you kidding me? It was... Meh. Beef is expensive. It's an expensive ones, meat that's big. Fine. I'll be honest, they weren't very memorable. I just remember them being kind of lukewarm. Uh. We both agreed that the tastiest item on the menu was the meat wrapped rice ball on a stick that oh, was meant to look like the giant slayer sword. It was pretty good. Can't really go wrong with a combo it like does meat and not rice. Look like a sword. I also ordered Casca's pomegranate kelpis, which I thought tasted really good. C now the Ca real kelpis? highlight of this cafe was the merch. Some of the things you can get included a glitter key holder, a glass at the face, temporary tattoos, a metallic poster of Guts and Griffith, acrylic coasters, and prints of the artwork that was on display at the front of the cafe. Thytus oh, ended I up getting like a Berserk branded ramen bowl, which she was very excited about, and some blind bag acrylic coasters. We received and coasters. three cardboard coasters with every item that we ordered, and the artwork on each of them looked spectacular. Overall, the food was pretty meh, but the merch was some of the most interesting I'd ever seen in a collab cafe, and the display section was really neat. At 3.5 out of 5. Number 7, the Miraculous Ladybug Cafe in Akihabara. Now, Akihabra. I've seen a bit of Miraculous now, I know Ladybug. I haven't watched Miraculous Ladybug in years, and I've long since given up on this show, but I was intrigued by the fact that the there start. even was a Miraculous Ladybug collab cafe going on. So, here's my thoughts on the food. For the drinks, Daru and I ordered the Ladybug Berry Soda and the Cat Noir Kiwi Calpis drink, which we both really enjoyed. For our entrees, I ordered the Chibi Lunch, which included a small salad, potato wedges, some fried chicken, pasta, and what I think was a sweet potato soup. I thought it tasted pretty good, but it did sort of give me the vibe soup. of like a school lunch. Daru ordered the mini cheeseburger plate, which she wasn't really impressed by, and again, feels a little like a school lunch. I think the real stars of this collab were the desserts. That's what I really dessert, said in a school. The Hearts ice cream, which actually looks like the one from the show. I and think it it's supposed to be like a school on lunch. And berry on the bottom. And the marinette macaron plate, which had a strawberry macaron, a cream puff, and berry panna cotta. This plate was actually pretty good, especially the macaron. Holy cow, the macaron was so tasty, which I really wasn't expecting. Overall, I'd say the highlights of this collab were definitely the desserts and drinks in both presentation and taste. I liked that they had so many different drink options for the different characters, so I sort of wish I'd ordered more. The merch section had the usual badges, acrylic stands, and charms, so no extra points in that area, unfortunately. This one also gets a 3.5 out of 5. Number 8, BT21 at Shibuya 109. I know this one is technically not an anime, but the theme of this cafe was so cute I had to check it out. This time, I went with a friend who's a big K-pop fan, and we were immediately ecstatic over the cute magic-themed decor. For our visit, we received a free little memo pad and adorable star-shaped coasters, mm -hmm. which is a nice change of shape from all the circle oh, and square sorry. coasters I'd been getting. We both ordered the magical milk tea, which was a tea drink that came with a big cloud of cotton candy on top, and a cup of milk that okay. you're supposed to pour over the cotton candy. My and clothes fell off my chair and onto my cat. Your tea. <laughs> it was really good. Definitely one of the more fun drinks I've had at a collab cafe. For the meal itself, we decided to share the magical tea time set and order one additional food plate. 
because we knew we couldn't my finish clothes fell on my cat. On the presentation of this pastry stand meal was so, so sorry, cute. Rose. The savory plate had a sandwich, veggies, and a pasta gratin with mashed potatoes in the likeness of the BT21 character of your choosing. And the dessert plate had a spread of fruit, this really cute rainbow decoration made out of syrup and cotton candy, and a yogurt mousse tart that looked like the character of your choosing again. To be totally honest, I think everything looked better than they tasted. Like, I loved that there were so many vegetables and fruits, but somehow it all tasted very okay. Like, nothing was bad, but nothing was super great in any way either, and I was left feeling a little unsatisfied. The highlight of this cafe for me was definitely the adorable atmosphere and great presentation, but considering how expensive the plates were, I think I was expecting just a little more flavor. Especially those sandwiches, those were not great. The merch store had some pretty interesting stuff, like a mug, washi tape, handkerchiefs, balloons, acrylic coasters, and little handheld mirrors. I feel like this was slightly better than the average collab cafe experience. I just wished it was a little tastier. I'm gonna give this one a very I wish soft I knew what it was. Five out of five. Number nine, Spy Family at Sweets Paradise. I haven't seen hey, that. We're back at Sweets Paradise, <laughs> and this time I managed to get a reservation for a Spy Family collaboration. This time I dragged James and Whitney with me because they've been enjoying the show too. Okay, so first off, I have to knock off points for the atmosphere. Not that it was ugly or anything, but they kept playing just the second season opening over and over again the entire time. And well, it got it's to because a point it's where I no longer there to the advertise so thank you for that, the second season. Paradise. Anyways, right, the food. First thing I ordered was the Bond Parfait, and I need Doggy. you to look at how cute this is. Full marks on presentation just for this cutie alone. Doggy. I don't care if it's biased. Look at him. James ordered the Anya strawberry soda, and Whitney ordered the Bond coconut boba, which both looked so cute next to each other. I also ordered Damien's sparkling grape soda, which came with a small side of Pop Rocks. Who the heck is Damien? Drink. It was pretty good. I enjoyed it. James ordered the Becky spaghetti, which Who's he liked. Becky? And he said the noodles had sort of a <laughs> udon-like texture, which sounds amazing. I kind of wish I got that too, actually. Whitney ordered Damien's cafeteria steak set, which sounds unappealing, but I tried some and it actually tasted pretty good. Of course, nothing like an actual steak, but it had a strong savory flavor, and Whitney liked it, although she did say it got a little salty near the last few bites. Oh, I ordered the Lloyd Omerice plate, so and it was actually pretty good. The egg was nice and creamy on the inside, and the bread slices were fine. It was just bread and cheese. Lastly, for dessert, I ordered yours chocolate cake, which was very prettily put together, but to no one's surprise, the chocolate was just a little too rich and intense for me and Whitney, which means it was absolutely heavenly to a chocolate lover like James, who graciously finished it for us. <laughs> I think the presentation and taste of everything was pretty great, and the most disappointing part for me was the merch section. With an anime as popular and huge as Spy Family, I sort of expected a bigger selection of merch, maybe some interesting cafe-exclusive stuff, but... No, it was the usual badges, acrylic stamps, and stickers. Same stuff you see at every collab cafe. And of course, the stationery was expensive. And of course, yeah. I bought it anyway because I wanted yeah. to paste it in my journal. And look, I swear, I have actual journal entries in here. It's just slowly devolved into a collab cafe <laughs> picture book. Anyways, um, f uh, four out of five. Number 10, Banana Fish at the Box Cafe. I still haven't seen it. Food. Nobody is safe from the Emirichu Collab Cafe Buddy Acquisition Committee. This time, I dragged Connor to a Banana Fish Cafe <laughs> because he really likes that anime. So first off, this cafe menu was interesting because it featured menu items inspired by other regions, which actually made it really difficult for me to figure out what I wanted to eat. Like, for instance, I wasn't going to get the New York bagel sandwich plate because I am well aware of what a good New York bacon, egg and cheese tastes like and I've never had to pay more than like five bucks for one. So there was no way in hell I was gonna pay 1,500 yen for a bagel sandwich that would undoubtedly fail to reach the high standard I already had for bagel sandwiches. I wasn't gonna get the banh mi plate because I also happen to know what a good banh mi tastes like. And again, you usually don't have to pay more than like four bucks for one. So this also felt like I was setting myself up for disappointment. Check out both. However, Thanks to amusement parks and movie theaters, I am all too familiar with having to pay jacked up prices for a hot dog. Oh, okay. So in order to give this cafe even a fighting chance at a good it's score, hot dog time. I had to go for the hot dog. And I mean, it was fine. It didn't taste bad or anything. It had a That's nice snap That's not cooked. To it. it looked pretty. It had That's veggies. That's undercooked. It was a hot dog. The stuff on the side was... Eh. I just don't think seaweed and tofu make a good side dish for hot dogs, but what do I know? 
Connor That's an undercooked hot pasta, dog. Which he surprisingly really enjoyed. What, what did you say? That's not bad. It's <laughs> pretty good. Mm. This is a man who would eat anything. Not mid. Actually, it's pretty good. Eight out of ten. For drinks, we first ordered the Ash drink and AG drink, both of which were pretty good. And then I got the shorter drink, which I thought I was gonna like because it's a mango milk tea. But uh, we both thought it tasted really nasty. But the colorful soda float I ordered was delicious. Ooh. That Especially looks good. when I mixed the vanilla ice cream into it because then it became this really tasty, creamy, fizzy milkshake. My only complaint being that there was way too much ice. Come on, what is this? You, you don't need ice and ice cream. And fill up Come like on. 75% of the glass with ice? Get it together, Box Cafe in space! Anyways, for dessert, we ordered the French toast plate, which was pretty but terrible. Easily some of the worst French toast either of us have ever eaten. We could only get like a few bites in and then we had to give up. But the caramel pancakes were pretty alright. I especially liked the sprinkling of pistachio nuts on top. A bit too much cream, but way better than the French toast. Honestly, I don't really know what to rate this one because everything seemed so wildly hit or miss. So I think this is one of those menu RNG type of situations where you just have to hope you pick the better tasting items. Mm. Um, I'm going to say like 3.5 out of 5. The rating system in this video is completely arbitrary, so you can disagree with me if you want. It's fine. I'm I'm gonna say <laughs> it's not like we're ever gonna experience we didn't this. Buy anything from the merch section, but I thought the most interesting thing was the super cute plate that our French toast huh. was served on. Number eleven, fruits basket. In I Osaka. haven't seen it. If anyone ever dares to question my devotion to collab cafes and specifically Fruits Basket, I just want you to know I made the spontaneous decision to travel all the way to Osaka for a day <laughs> just to go to the Fruits Basket 30th anniversary cafe because they did one in Tokyo except it was back in early March when I hadn't moved here yet so I missed That's out That's like the end of the line on the Osaka, bullet train. Like, it was my only chance to go to the Fruits Basket 30th anniversary cafe, so I did. But I wasn't alone because if there's anyone who's always down to enable me in my impulsive fandom driven pursuit for the next best cafe, it's Daru. We decided to take the Shinkansen to Osaka in the morning so we could catch an early lunch at the cafe and then go again for an early dinner before hopping on the train back to Tokyo. I even brought along my Furuba acrylic stand to take pictures with because if I'm gonna travel all the way to Osaka for a cloud cafe, I'm gonna be a little extra about it. We ordered almost the entire menu, so let's get right into it. First of all, the atmosphere was nostalgic. I can't believe heaven. this woman. There were gorgeous illustrations up on the wall, they were playing the soundtrack from the anime on the speakers, and there was that same convenient tablet ordering system at the tables where you could also order the merch. And oh my god, the merch! There was so much you could buy, it was almost overwhelming. We're gonna get into that after the food, but I'm telling you right now, it was the highlight of this cafe. For lunch, Darrow and I started our order with a Kyo orange cocktail and a Kureno peach oolong tea. And unsurprisingly, they were both way too sweet. And I know it wasn't just me, because the guy sitting in front of me also ordered the peach oolong tea, and I heard him say amasugiru after taking a sip, so uh, it's already not off to the best start. I also <laughs> ordered a cafe latte with Yuki space buddy. printed on me it, too. and it tasted fine. Pretty much the same as every other cafe latte I've ever ordered at a collab cafe. I'll stop ordering I the lattes. I was really excited to try the Kyo burger because I thought it looked adorable, but it was god awful. Genuinely could not finish it. The buns were cold. I've had better burgers at McDonald's. Daru ordered the Yeah, I mean curry, McDonald's do heat the buns. Much. But I really liked that there were they a lot more vegetables in it than what you usually get from a collab cafe curry. And it tasted like what you'd expect. However, there was one thing that ruined the whole dish for us. To replicate Yuki's ears, they put ham on dark chocolate and then stuck huh? it into the rice. Dark chocolate? Why? You couldn't use, like, a mushroom? Or maybe even one of those wafer papers? It's the aesthetic. Chocolate? We thought maybe it was a flavor combo that was secretly good, but no, no, it tasted no, it's gross. not good. It tasted like ham and trust me, it's not good. Rice. At this point, we are praying to God the dessert will be the saving grace. We ordered the Kyoyuki chocolate lava cake, and similarly to my experience with the Your Chocolate Cake from the Spy Family Cafe, this cake was too rich and chocolatey for me personally, but Daru loved it. So hey, one good thing out of like five things. Luckily, the things we ordered when we came back during dinner time ended up being a lot better. 
For drinks, I ordered the Toru strawberry milk, which tasted pretty good, but it then occurred to me that I forgot my lactate pills, and I was afraid of what an entire glass of milk was gonna do to me, so I passed it off to Daru. I also ordered Ayame's berry soda float, which was one of the best tasting things I'd ordered that whole but day. But it's ice cream! I was worried it'd be too sweet like the drinks we had during lunch, but it was honestly perfect. Daru got the cursed jelly fruit punch, which is supposed to change color once you add the lemon juice. And I'm gonna be honest, I don't remember if it actually ever did. I didn't try it, but she thought it was alright. For dinner, we ordered the somen, which was the most normal thing on the menu, but I thought it was pretty good. Daru said the somen noodles are overcooked, but at this point, we just wanted something edible, okay? The, the, the bar's in hell. <laughs> the best thing that we ordered ended up being the Toru rice ball plate. How fitting that the best rice girl balls. ended up being the best item. One of the rice balls had her cute little face on the front and a little umeboshi on the back. Maybe it's because this was a super normal Japanese meal, but everything from the tamagoyaki to the salmon to the mackerel to little sausages wrapped in bacon tasted great. I was grateful that I could leave the cafe with at least one good meal in my stomach. For dessert, we decided to share the dessert plate, which included two mini parfaits, some citrus fruits, some more fruit in an orange bowl, a crepe cake slice, and some tea cookies. This one tasted pretty okay. I liked the fruits, but Dara and I both agree that the crepe cake slice was not the best. You could legitimately get a better tasting one from a convini. But we really liked the presentation of the whole thing, and it came with some free little it's postcards still disappointing. from the manga, and you know I had to paste that into my journal. But the most exciting part for me was the merch and free little goodies. We received a coaster for every item we ordered, so we ended up with a lot of coasters, which I was very happy Good. about. And two larger sized postcards of Yuki and Kyo, which of course I had to put in my journal because where else was I going to put it? Yes. I decided to treat myself of to course. two prints that featured art from the manga and some blind bag acrylic coasters. Yes, I know I already have a massive collection of free <laughs> cardboard coasters, but look at these designs and tell me I was just supposed to walk away from these. Walk away. I stopped there, but they had more things for sale like framed fridge magnets, a mug, a cafe art stencil, reproduced prints or fruits basket illustrations, etc. This trip was no a lot of fun, but I think for next time, if I ever do something no like this plushies. again, I'll make it a multi-day trip because it doesn't really make sense to go to the city most known for its delicious food only to go to the no, worst I kind of place for good back. food. If we're counting the bullet train tickets, this was hands down the most expensive cafe trip I've ever done, I but lady. I made some pretty good memories. 2.5 out of 5. Number She's 12, a good cat. last but not least, the <gasps> Oran High School Host Club Club I've seen it. in Chiyoda. This time we're Finally. going to the same venue as the Berserk Cafe. And this collab is licensed An anime the I have seen. Berserk and Fruits Basket, which means, uh-oh, the food is probably gonna suck, but the merch will be amazing. Like the Berserk Cafe, the moment you walk in, you're greeted by a large cutout display of the host club in their adorable cafe outfits, and a bunch of framed illustrations on the walls that you can admire before you get seated for your reservation. I really wish more cafes did this because it's such a nice addition to the atmosphere and I love that you can purchase a print if you really like one of them. We sat down, scrolled through the iPad. Th is that an Oron teacup set pre-order for 8,800 yen? Who Hell yeah, do it. Do it, get it, get it. I am that person. I am that person too. I'm I would. sorry. <laughs> Listen, Daru and I may have both gotten a little excited with the merch, okay? They had a canvas print, they had washi tape, a postcard set, acrylic coasters, a ticket holder with stickers, an Oron branded tea bag. I almost a ignored the acrylic bag. stands and then noticed that they came with a little table, so then I had to get it. Okay, <laughs> we're moving table. on from the merch. You get it. It gets full marks, five stars. Let's talk about the food. I ordered Haruhi's strawberry soda, and as expected, I thought it was delicious. Dad Hello, it's good. Kiwi's lime tonic, which came with black pepper sprinkled on top because it apparently signified Kiwi's dislike for sweet things, which like, all right, interesting choice. But it goes well. Honestly, after pepper goes ham, well. Dark chocolate yuki curry, I just don't question anything anymore. Pepper and lime go well together. I also got honey Trust me. Tea, which looked very cute but tasted very gross. We also ordered a cafe latte with yeah, rose to paint it, man, it, and it tasted fine. Again. Cafe latte always tastes as you'd expect. Daru ordered the Kyoya burger, and... <sighs> okay. So, seeing as how Hakusensha is behind this collab, as they were with the Furuba collab, I sort of expected it to taste like the Kyo burger, and it did. But somehow, it was even worse. Because Damn. it came with a side of two very dried up pieces of squid, and I love squid, so this was heartbreaking. Un uncooked and yes, potato? Uncooked potatoes. I... <laughs> 
Does this meal look like a meal fit for someone as refined and elegant as Kyoya? Boiled, unseasoned potatoes and cold butter. I mean, at least they're not raw. I ordered the Karu and Hikaru curry, which was advertised like a prank that the twins are playing on you because one side of the curry is supposed to be super spicy and you need to figure out which one it is, which sounds like a lot of fun. But then I received the curry and before even tasting it, I was like, oh boy, which side is the spicier side? I wonder if it's the side <laughs> that has cayenne pepper messily spattered all over it. <laughs> did, did you even try? And that's my biggest problem with oh my Center God. branded collab cafes. The food almost feels bad on purpose. The most decent thing we ate was a honey senpai strawberry cake, which had a really nice Just got in the middle, and it was very cute. But Don't I'm get the again, mains. cafes to please use less cream in their desserts because like 50 That is a lot of cream. Is entirely cream. We are drowning in cream. Please, the cream to cake ratio is atrocious. 2 out of 5. So, if you go to a collab cafe with a really awesome merch selection, I recommend buying maybe a drink or two and then spending your money on the exclusive drink, merch. A drink, dessert, and, and if merch. if you do get food, I recommend sticking to the more Japanese dishes because they're more likely to taste good. Just don't get the burgers. <laughs> I'm starting to get a pretty good idea of which venues will have the better food, merch, and presentation, especially since I've gone to more than 24 of these. So when I inevitably make my third cafe video, you'll hear more about that. Oh, and side note, I went back to the Kirby Cafe for a friend's birthday, and I'm happy to report that the food was delicious, everything was adorable, it was actually an even better experience than the first That's time cute. I went, and the merch store is updated very frequently. And we Ooh. picked up this really cute Kirby Cafe music box. Look at it! So yeah, Kirby Cafe is still a 5 out of 5. If you get the chance to reserve, you totally should, and make sure you do it a month in advance because it is very popular. All the cafes for gave her was the flu. Okay, I'm gonna go. Hope you enjoyed this video. And normally, I don't ever ask for extra engagement, but uh, please leave a comment or something because going to twelve collab cafes is stupid expensive, and I need to milk this video for all it's worth. Damn. Mommy Susan, please. Okay, goodbye. <laughs>